All right. Okay, everybody, we'd like to welcome you today to the Average Joe cast. And we, I got something special for you all today. Normally, we have some kind of boring musical guest on our Joe cast, but I got something really special for you all. Today, <laughs> today on the Joe cast, um, I have some people that I consider really near and dear to my heart. And we, well, defended our country, if you want to call it that. I have some of my friends and family from the 729th Tactical Control Squadron from the Hill from Hill Air Force Base on, in Utah. And this one's going to go off the rails quick. I can almost guarantee it. It already has been, but it's, it's going to be a fun one, people. So I got some of my, my family here, and we're going to just shoot the shit for however long. And, and you're going to have people jumping in and out of this thing. But anyway, um, <sighs> thank you guys all for joining us. And as soon as I get this one done and we're done here, I'll go ahead and put it up on my band page and any other social media outlet that I have. Okay, what's going on, people? How's it going? Stop. Good. Hey, Ryan. Going good. Right on. Okay, so we'll start. This this looks like the screen from the Brady Bunch, but we're missing two blocks on the bottom, <laughs> I think. So, <laughs> who is the Alice? person? At, is, who's the person? Who is the person in the middle? Mike Brady or was it Alice? This Murr's right in the middle right now. So. No, Alice, was, Alice was the middle. <laughs> Rich is my Alice. <laughs> Alice, you guys got you guys got to make like the the, the show and like look up. And I look think Destry's Bobby. Mar Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> okay, so while we got you guys on, so um, I guess we'll start with Lou, and then all, all the people here kind of know who I am. So Lou, kind of introduce yourself, what state you're in, and whatever whatever else you want to say. We got to get her talking in because once Steph gets going, it's over. We won't have any chance to talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Crazy Mary comes on. Uh, okay, I, I'm Louis, Where's Mary. Louis Medina from Utah, originally from New Mexico. Uh, I had the pleasure of serving with all these clowns for seven years, and uh, they're all family. So that, that's what I'll start with now. Next, <laughs> Rich, you're unmuted. So, uh, um, Rich, unmute your mic, Rich. There you go. I got it. Rich Robbins from uh, originally from Indiana and currently live retired in Denver, Colorado. So Rich. Okay. I yeah. guess, uh, oh, Destry. Randy. Oh, Destry, whoever, <laughs> anyone of you guys. Hold on. What's up, sweetie? <laughs> no, Randy, go. Come on, come on. Say hello to everybody. Oh, hey, I'm Randy. Oh, oh. oh cute. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, Randy. Go ahead, Randy. <laughs> Destry, in the, Destry went, he, he went the kid card on you. I'm ready. Who's next? Rand, Randy. I'm Randy. Hey, Randy. Go. <laughs> I'm Randy. Oh, hey, here I am, Randy. <laughs> Coming to you from my basement in Iowa. <laughs> well, same old Randy. <laughs> Would you expect anything else? <laughs> no, no, Randy, we didn't. We hoped, but we didn't really expect. <laughs> Matter of fact, I missed the message. I'm uh, I'm drinking water right now. <laughs> oh, well, I don't. I have coffee. I don't drink at all, so that's it. <laughs> Me okay, Big Mer. Okay, Pinocchio. Yeah, Merwin Van Beek. Um, like Louie, I had the pleasure of serving with all these people, and uh, it was very enjoyable. Uh, I think of uh, one of them probably every day, at least, and uh, <laughs> I, I miss everybody. I love this getting together. I love seeing what people are doing. Uh, when it comes to Facebook, I'm much more of a voyeur than I am anything else. I just kind of look what's going on. Stalker. But I do keep is that, is that a nice word for stalker? <laughs> What's that? Is that a nice word for stalker? Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty nice word for stalker. Yeah. So I, yeah, and I uh I married I got three three children, uh three boys that I have uh, my biological children. I have uh two adopted daughters and I have four ado foster children. Wow. And I've been married uh, 38 years. Wow. 
All right, drop you're... the mic. We're out of here. <laughs> South Dakota. That's where I'm from, too. South Dakota. <laughs> Must be something okay. in the water. Should we let Destry go first before we let Steph run off with this thing? Yeah, I think so. All right. What's up, people? How you been? <laughs> Uh, let's do some shaka shaka, guys. Let's get her done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, I'm Destry. Uh, I served in the 729th from um, August of 86 until February of 1995 with all you clowns. Uh, <laughs> my first family. All right. Been through a lot of crap with you guys. I tell everybody that, that I work with now that the that was the best experience of my life. And that was what really shaped it. Um, so I work for the city of Portland. I've been in the city of Portland for 18 years. Um, downtown's a war zone. Can't wait for that to stop. <laughs> wow. They won't let us do what we want to do to take care of that nonsense. Anyway, I've got, uh, four kids, three grandkids and one on the way. All right. Oh, my blondie. Come here, blondie. Wanna say hi to these guys again? These are all my these are all my family from this when I was in the military. Say hello. Wait, this is Coraline. Hi. hi, cutie. Hi. Oh, Steph already <laughs> took it. It's over. That's Rick. <laughs> That's Marwan. That's Louie. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where did Randy go? He's over to the I'm left here. of our screen. Yeah. All right. Okay, you go back up there soon. He probably fell over. <laughs> he fell over. <laughs> He's in the basement. Sorry. Can't get up. Why are you taking the key? You're not old enough to drive. Oh, I needed a nap. All right. <laughs> All right. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Brace yourselves, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> the floor is yours, Miss Steph. <laughs> yeah. Why does she, crazy. Why does she look so messed up? What's going on with her screen? Uh, it's because I'm sitting in my backyard. Because. I don't want you all in my friggin' house. <laughs> I'll, I'll move aside in a minute. Um, I'm Stephanie, originally from California. I no longer claim it. They can have it. Um, <laughs> out of in Virginia, and, and that's about it. Served wow. with all the give a shout out for wide band. Yay, wide band people. Yay. And Mer was my favorite supervisor Thank in the you. whole world. And that's that's what I got. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> wow. Shit, we're about ready to go take a bathroom break while you <laughs> She must be drunk already. <laughs> right? <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, I mean Yo. What's that, Steph? Go ahead. I said, I'm trying to behave. If this is, if other people are listening to us, I got to behave. You don't, no, you don't that's have to first. behave. It's, that's a first. <laughs> You're correct. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm Spot, or who did I, um, Ryan Sobati. I served in the shop, wide band shop from probably mid to end of 88 till 90, I guess. Um, and I was basically the digger of foxholes. <laughs> so, but the anyway, because I, <laughs> I tried to avoid all the technical shit as much as I could because I hated it. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is my family, people. I love them all. And um, I currently went, I lived, I lived in um, West Jordan after I got out for about a year or so. And then I came home in, at about 91. Been here ever since. I have four <laughs> children, um, two, well, three from my first marriage and stepdaughter from this one. Um, they're all adults. One just graduated this year. Um, my other three, one's 28, the other is 24 and 22, and no grandkids yet, and we have a cat. That's pretty much it. So. <laughs> but, and, and I work for, um, I've been in the construction industry for probably about 25 years now, and I, I'm an inside salesperson for um, metal roofing department. P prior to that, I was um, in the, the trust industry. So, but other than that, other than my, my, Passion is music, as you guys know. And then the, when I thought of this thing, I was like, I don't want to talk to boring musicians. I have my friends on. So here we are. So hopefully more of our friends come on. But in the meantime, let's, um, let's go. Shoot the shit, man. So, Louie, what you been up to, man? What's What you been up to lately? How's things going? You know, you've been kind of quiet in the corner there. So No, just enjoying this. I'm uh, 
I'm Probably just one in nine states. <laughs> recovering, <laughs> recovering from two broken feet. Yeah, 2020 hasn't been good for my feet. <laughs> Murder hornets, broken feet. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just reco I just started walking a week ago. Cody. I, I spent five months in bed. That wasn't fun. But wow, what been, happened? Uh, on my my left foot, I fractured a metatarsal because I was going down the stairs and I thought I was at the bottom. I had two steps to go, so. I, I saw my foot just completely flexed, yeah. And and uh, so I fractured that one. Two weeks later, I went outside to take the trash, and I slipped on the ice. It was snowing. And I slipped on the ice and fractured my right ankle. So I, ha I had to have wow. surgery on that one. So I'm I'm doing I'm doing better. I'm doing better. <laughs> yeah. Gotta. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You know, occasionally uh, I have fallen down the stairs too. <laughs> usually on saturday night <laughs> oh yeah uh, you know, that was the first time i ever broke anything man it was <laughs> wow. you know, it was it wasn't fun but anyways i'm ready i'm ready to go now i should be firing up the harley in about a week till the next nice. broken <laughs> you <laughs> Where did you go? Yeah, can I mean if you guys are you guys have your phones with if anybody needs to be on text them and tell them to get on. I know Crazy Mary wanted to get on, but she's nowhere to be found, so I don't know what's going on with her. And there's a text on here from somebody that says I can't get on, I got a house full of people. Is that Mary? Probably uh, I think uh, I'm not sure. That was Brad, wasn't it? Yeah, Brad or I think that Jim Clark Brad? too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Destry's uh. bringing his kids on shit. That shouldn't be a problem. Well, they're out. They're out now. I've, I've set them outside. <laughs> <laughs> set them outside. <laughs> Get out. He had, go, he had him go get a drink first. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right. Okay, Rich. Well, Louis, so tell how us many what... people? Oh. How many people have you visited since you've been over there? You've been to my house. I know that. Who? Me? You. Oh. Yeah. No, how many people all... have you gone and visited? You're always all over. <laughs> Uh, I visited you. I visited Brad. I visited uh, Langston. I visited yeah. uh, Lori and Barb. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Stutzman when he was around. And I, I'm sure there's a few more on there, but yeah, I was uh, actually if it wasn't for this damn COVID, I was going to do a cross country trip in in uh, in May. So uh, now I gotta wait. Now I gotta wait till uh, till maybe October. September, if the if the country's still open. If we still have a country, if they haven't burned yeah. our shit to the ground. Yeah. Don't get me started, boys. Don't get me started. I think I think we should all be here in here in Utah and then head up to Washington. <laughs> yeah. So my 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 I'm soon to be son-in-law. Is a Marine Corps infantry officer. And I said, Lewis, so what do you think all this crap's going on? He said, just give me one team, my team, in one hour. He said, and we will just clear that city. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I bet. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? They would be running scared. Right. Yeah. Get right. Robbie Richard, to Richard, Richard. Right. <laughs> Where the hell is Robbie, man? I, I mean, the, the thread, the, the message thread that we got was pretty pretty fun. I was hoping that more people would jump on and transpire. Well, I was hoping I was hoping Mark could get on too, but I, I he probably didn't know how. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he lives up in Brainerd, Minnesota. You got to put a fishing pole on the computer, then you'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Hewitt, Hewitt lives up there in the north side somewhere, don't he? Where's Hewitt live? Yeah, he lives way way up in uh, northern Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to get yeah, hold of his son. <laughs> tried to get hold of his son to get him hooked up, but I couldn't get a hold of him. Can you imagine what Hewitt is saying about his beloved state of Minnesota right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, how come he isn't on here? I don't know. I, if anybody has his number, text, send them the link and and um, text them and tell uh, them. Yeah, I'm gonna now. do it right now here. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's okay. right. I Mr. Rich, what, Mr. Rich, man, what's going on, brother? You- Nothing much. I got, uh, like I said, two kids, three grandkids. Uh, they're all over in uh, the my daughter and the three grandkids over in Utah. I was just over there. I rode my bike over there the, uh, a few weeks ago, Louie. I didn't know you're over there. I just stopped to visit. Oh, uh, I'm here. I, I'm here still. Yeah. I don't you're blame you. Welcome. It's nice over there. Well, they won't let him leave, Rich. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it, dude. I'm. Uh, I got furloughed uh, beginning in May, and I uh, and I saved enough money. I'm just uh, loving life right now until they call me back. I'm an inspector on the oil and gas pipeline, so I can't. I can't complain about that. Uh, what else? I guess when I left you guys, I left uh, 729. Probably I was there from 89 to like 93 or something like that, and then I went to Italy, but. Uh, I left in, you guys, I don't know if you guys know, in 90, you see, 80, in 98, I went OSI and stayed in electronics, so it's kind of cool. I got to stay in the electronics field, but in the OSI side, uh, that's kind of fun to see all that behind the scenes stuff. You didn't yeah. have to do the regular agent shit, uh, but uh, most people didn't know they had electronic side to them as well. But other than that, man, that's it. I'm enjoying life here. I did a short stint with for four or five years with Department of Energy doing cyber counterintelligence, but um, I left the government after that and never looked back. This uh, this inspection business is the way to go. Easy money. Right on. Good. What about you, Randy? What's going on with you, man? Oh, well, let's see. I don't want to bore, but. Um, so when I got out, I don't even remember what year it was, 92 or whatever. <laughs> I don't remember what year. <laughs> it's all blurred. Uh, oh, and Merwin knows this because he came to visit me, but I uh, actually bought a taxi cab company when I got out after a few years. And, um then I found a guard unit that had wideband satellite here in Iowa, so I joined that. Stayed there until retirement. Then got divorced, got remarried, had a couple more kids. So uh, my youngest just graduated high school this year. Congrats. Is everyone asleep? We're the only ones still married. And no one, right. everyone said, she'll <laughs> never stay married. She'll never <laughs> stay married. They'll be divorced in a week. 28 years later, y'all. You, you know you wanted to. Don't brag too loud. You know you wanted to. So how much <laughs> do you got to pay them every month to stay with you? Are you kidding me? <laughs> By the way, I just want you to know that a wasp nest with wasp on it just fell at my feet. Murder hornets. Squished it. Yes, I, I, I had to take it into my own hands and kill that stuff while we were on on air. I thought you I fell out of your chair for a minute. <laughs> no, that'll I happen was, in about I half an hour from murder. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right on. So let, let let's add up the marriages here. One, two, three. There's like seventeen. I'm pretty sure. Do here. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Louis, you've got two marriages, two horses. Two. <laughs> that doesn't count. That that doesn't count all my girlfriends, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Too bad. Shit, man. Please Can't bust Texas them. balls because we changed this date for him, man. But all I, I remember, oh, yeah. I, rem- I remember, like. And during the message thread, he was always he always talked about how Robbie used to kick his ass. I remember those those times very vividly, and he I I remember Tex going, "I got him right where I want him," and he would be wrapped up in a pretzel. And Tex, <laughs> Robbie would have him all wrapped up in a pretzel. I got him right where I want him, and he's, Robbie has him over his. Head. I swear, Robbie's one of the biggest human beings I've ever seen in my life. Coming from Hawaii, being that all of us are under five feet six. So <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Destry, none of your comrades are on, man. What's happening? Mary was in your in your um, shop as well, right? Or was she somewhere else? No, she was. She was logistics. Logistic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where's Lori? 
I know. I, 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 I just texted Laurie and Barb. She never responded. I'm not sure if her number changed or whatever. So I don't know. Uh, maybe she maybe she hates us because we're not warm. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what about Steph? What about Noel? You guys got you guys got Noel's number and stuff? I I tagged no? him in the thing. Um, no. I don't know if I have Noel's number, but I tagged him on um the the post. So I don't I don't know. I, oh, I can't imagine that Noel's on Facebook very often. Yeah, probably not. He's probably like Robbie with <laughs> out in the wilderness somewhere. No yeah. social media. Yeah. Or... He'll be signing on in a couple months. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have we'll, no we'll all see a pop up on a Zoom meeting just started. Or Robbie checked into the damn Zoom meeting two months from now. What? <laughs> oh, I just Wait. missed it. <laughs> they, they have no excuse. I'm on coconuts and strings over here, so. <laughs> okay, but it. Anyway, I got Noel. I got Noel was still in Utah. Pardon me. Was it Noel still in Utah? He's still here. He's still in Utah. He's, in, he's uh, down in Syracuse. And El, Elba's down there, too. <laughs> Elba, Elba, Elba? Elba, Elba, she's still around. <laughs> Holy smoke, man. It just there's, a, there's a story. She was on her way when I left. Uh, the, uh, seven, when I left Sony at 729th, I went to uh, southern Italy on a fixed comm site, and Elba was supposed to PCS over there. <laughs> yeah. Never happened. Huh? It never happened. Oh. <laughs> oh, she was uh she was uh training to be a, a sheriff or a Ogden police officer or something like that. I think she was she was No, I thought it, I thought it was Border Patrol. She she did go to California for Border Patrol, but when she oh. was training when she was training for uh for a sheriff or something I uh I took Noel's truck to his house. <laughs> the br the brown one. He still had the it. brown truck. I was just gonna see the brown it. truck. <laughs> he had the brown truck parked here in my house for like a year, so I wanted to go take it to his house. When I pulled up, and this is no lie, no exaggeration, man. He he was literally in front of the garage in the fetal position, and she was putting the baton to his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot, I can't picture anybody doing that to Noel because Noel was kind of a. I, yeah, I can't either. I can't Noel's like a manly Noel man would... and somebody whipping his ass. You know? Especially I'm, I'm Elba. So, I'm sorry, Noel, if you see this, but it was the funniest thing I ever seen. <laughs> you, you know what? If if they're not here, they're open to, they're fair game, man. So whatever. Yeah. Let them have it. She that's has a good. spell on him, though. Yeah, yeah that's good. Well, you guys yeah. grab was your dreams. Oh, was that somebody Jay, that I'm was in the I'm shop? Here. Was that somebody that was in the shop while I was there or afterwards? You know, Elba? no, Elba? Elba? Probably afterwards. She, she came was after about you. halfway through my tour. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. was yeah. after you because she was yeah. after me too. I didn't meet her till years later. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The party. You met her at the yeah, party. At the party, I met her. <laughs> but I still can't picture anybody putting the boots to Noel's ass because that guy, he was a tough, he was a tough dude, man. I <laughs> was Somebody putting the no. boots to him. Well, Noel loves his children to the moon. Yeah, I guess, I guess I so. Think that, I think that he would do anything for them to include take a boot to the ass. So, well, you know what? I, I, I think I'm in that same category because, yeah, you, you'd pretty much do anything for your kids. And I've, you know, been yeah. through some crazy shit too. But it's all good. But still, I can't picture anybody putting the boots to Noel, though. So See, how much turn around you, and, see how turn much around and shoot you that person. See get you into? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Right? <laughs> oh yeah. That's yeah. because oh. you all think with your penises, and then you yeah. end up in a fetal position at the end of your garage. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, it sounds like you've done that to Ken before. Oh uh, no! I just take I take a bat to his motorcycle. I don't waste my time with him. I know where to hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> she has him locked in a closet right now. That's right. No, I just screenshotted a picture of all you fools to him. I said, "Hey, I'm I'm zooming with the 729." He said, "Fun stuff." He said, "I he, I bet that they're happy to see you." <laughs> that was sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so uh, I know the units the units not there anymore, right? How how long ago did they move or close it up? It was there when I was there. 
Oh, is it still oh, there? Or? I think oh, it's still there. I, th I thought they there. were. Yeah. I thought they moved or something. That's how. That's it was there down. like six, seven years ago. Okay. It probably well, just it. sucks now. Uh, it, yeah, it's I'm still sure there. It does. If we're not there, it <laughs> <Yeah>. sucks. Right. <laughs> it's still there. They had a they had a big picnic last year at uh at one of the at one of the parks here in Layton. And I showed up because the way they advertised it, it sounded like there was going to be a car show, and you know, the whole car public show. was invited. So I went over there and not in one, his El Camino. <laughs> not one, yeah, yeah, not one fucking person could even say hi or who are you. And it's like, I, I, it, it was millennials, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> they, right. They, they couldn't even talk to me. God bless. <laughs> I had a 40 yeah. caliber in my back, you know, at the back, and it's like I just walked through there and nobody questioned me or anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think they're being racist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The fun stories, man. Uh, that, I I always but, like I show the. The pictures where Steph and Greg are tied up on the table and stuff. My kids asked, is that what you guys did in the military? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were defending our, def yeah. defending our country. It, says, it was a rite of passage yeah. where we're at. So. <laughs> I, think, but, yeah. I think Greg got married about a week after that, didn't he? <laughs> uh, how many times has Greg been married now? Last When we saw him at your party, he was like, he was total married, straight. I don't drink beer. I have 14 kids. Great. I'm going yeah. on a mission. Oh, yeah. He was like, yeah. Yeah, he was. Doesn't he live in well, I, think he's, I think he's a bishop at one of the wards or something, probably. <laughs> uh, probably a yeah, cult leader in Idaho or something. Right? <laughs> what was that, Destry? Doesn't he live in Morgan? Yeah. Yeah, that's super duper LDS up there, bro. Oh, yeah. Huh. Mm. Yeah, no, he's, he's doing good. Have to ask our even shop there. <laughs> <laughs> he works at L three. He's, he's doing really good. Oh, right on, right on. That um, Greg Budikoffer, you guys are talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah Randy. But yeah. Gopher. Oh, okay. But gopher. <laughs> what? Like but gopher. Greg but gopher. But gopher. But gopher. But gopher. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so whatever happened to like um? Groves, anybody keep in touch with Groves or oh, any of the other no. guys? Groves, you guys even Groves want to keep in touch? he's running a bar up in North Dakota. Hey, you uh, I'm in. That's Juan Graves. What's that? Juan Graves. That's Juan Graves. Juan Graves. Juan Graves. Juan Graves got castrated. He had ball cancer. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. Really? He did. They castrated oh, him. Oh man. Where, yes, where's I, his bar at up in North Dakota? <laughs> Rugby. In rugby, North Dakota. Yeah, I, I believe he was a teacher there too for a while, history teacher or something. Yeah, that'll lead you to drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He married. He got married again. Oh, yeah. His his ex wife's name Stacy, wasn't it? I was gonna say you mean the marriage to Stacy didn't work out? No, that, that was his uh, <laughs> second or third one was Stacy. I'm not sure. I know. I think he's on four, maybe. Speaking of that, where's yeah. Katie? <laughs> where's who Speaking Katie Bowes where's Katie she Katie Mulder married, the guys from from age she married Dave Mulder yeah she married yeah. David yeah they, they actually they're still here in Utah they're still here in Utah yeah do you see them I haven't, I haven't seen them in a long time hmm. yeah, Connor lives right down the road from me but uh, I hardly ever see him either yeah just every now and then the Cottoners, Joe and Siobhan. Did he retire as like a colonel or something? Gravis. Gravis. I, want, I, I, I got to email Gravis and get the words to Bang Bang Lulu. What? <laughs> do, you remember, do, you remember, do you remember that, Murr? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> he used to know all the words to a song that was called Bang Bang Lulu. <laughs> My hoo -hoo. Bang bang Lulu Lulu bang all day. Lulu <laughs> bang all day. Lulu goes away, <laughs> and then it just went into a big old story about this girl. <laughs> but I'd like to. I, I want to get a hold of him. See if he'll send me the 
the lyrics or whatever. Oh, <laughs> I'm Louis, sure is it would. Louis, is it copyrighted? I'll put it on my next record, man. <laughs> it probably isn't. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a hold of him and, and get the word. It's hilarious, man. It's hilarious. <laughs> Let me see if I if he's out there. I'll see if I can find him. Man. Yeah, that son of a bitch. He, he had so many jokes. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. You, remember, you remember when he ran over his leg with his fucking quad and damn near ripped his leg off? <laughs> <laughs> that, I was with I was with Groves uh, my whole career there in the Air Force. Oh I yeah, went, hey, I was in what Germany. About our boss? What about Cecil? Oh, oh God! Yeah, well, you know, here we go. You know, we're gonna Cecil. be here. We're gonna be. We're gonna be here for two hours. <laughs> He's a watermelon farmer. He's really about the only person I own I came close to killing. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> yeah. William, William O. Cecil, is that his name? Yeah. Uh, William O. Cecil. I pulled him right out of his house one morning. <laughs> oh, shit. Ima imagine, Mer imagine Mer or Robbie pulling up to your house wanting to yeah. <laughs> That's a sight to see. <laughs> oh, I was so mad. Oh, yeah, I, I kind of forgot about that. We had what a recall. We, we had a recall. And uh, me and the Ravadu were out hunting, and Noel. <laughs> and he, called and, he called and threatened my wife. That what? If I didn't get there, if because he said, "Well, I know he's sitting right there at home, and if he doesn't come in, we're going to come over and get him." <laughs> yeah. So then my wife got a hold of me somehow, and I went to visit Mr. Cecil. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Good man. Good man. You know, we can share stories. Yeah. Oh, that mother! That motherfucker was the reason why I didn't reenlist. I'm telling yeah, you right really? now, he, he was a it. bad dude. He's a if bad that fucker news. was cool, uh, I would have I would have reenlisted in a heartbeat. But he was yeah, something he was else. Bad news. He was something Don't else. Don't you remember we'd smash, we'd smash his sack lunch every day, and then he had an investigation? You guys remember that? Dude, <laughs> yeah. I got I I got an even better story for. I don't know if anybody. We went to his first um deployment to Wendover. I fucking ransomed his watermelon. Yeah. Fucking, I, I, said, I think we still had the beer tent or whatever, and I told him, buy everybody in the shop beer or your watermelon gets it. Yeah. <laughs> you, that fucker went to Wendover with a fruit basket. I was like, why are you bringing a damn fruit basket to a deployment, you idiot? Hey, I just want y'all to know, we could, I could have fucking offed him in hat trick, and I didn't do it. Oh, Cecil. <laughs> you had to bring that name up. What about uh, Adamic? What about Adamic? You remember him? No idea what, I have no idea what happened to him. Adam. Uh, what shop was he in? Was he in our I shop? I hope it was bad, whatever happened. It was white band. Who was the what number was two white? that had the, had the fireman stash? If, Everybody had that back in the day. Everybody had the porn no. stash back in the day. You well, know, I didn't know his name when he said it. I still got I, it. Oh. <laughs> no, he had, like, he had like red brown hair and he was quiet, kind of dumb. Wasn't Carrie though? Huh? Not Brown. Terry. His name was Brown. Brown. Oh, Randy got Brown. it. Brown. Tech Sergeant Brown. Brown. There you go. Sergeant That's the one Brown. right there. That's it. He's yeah, still I here. Don't remember. He's Brown. in Roy. Really? He's in Brown. Brown's still in Roy. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, how about Carrie though? Ron Carrie. Oh, oh here okay. we go. Listen, That's, you that's Steph's best. No one we can talk Steph. about. <laughs> That's you Steph's best friend about right there. Go, go, Steph. Go, we're pumping you up. Go. All, he wanted to sleep with me, and I wouldn't sleep with him. And all he wanted to do is make my life hell from then on. I, I think I had to save Ron from you once. I think you no, yeah, I think so because I'd have killed him. That motherfucker. He wrote me bad APRs. Oh yeah, he did. Because you wouldn't fess it up. Yeah, I wouldn't give up the old putang. To Ron Carey, the retard of the year. Well, no. Why? Why, why not? He was, he was the ladies' man. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and, and now, now I will say, Daryl Harry, too, also tried to get me to sleep with him. You, you guys, I don't know if I've ever told you this story. That was another when, big human. I yeah. love Daryl Harry. I love Daryl Harry. So I probably never told anybody this, but I'm gonna tell you now because we're old. But and I still love. Speak Darryl for yourself. He's a good guy. <laughs> so, when Daryl Harry was my supervisor, we, we were walking up one day, and he was getting in his truck, and I was walking behind him up the hill to get in my car. He said, bigger staff, come here. And I said, okay, whatever. He's like, you know, I'm writing your EPR. I said, okay. And he said, uh, if you sleep with me, he said, I'll make sure you get a five. 
Swear oh, to holy God. shit. Whoa. And I said, this is what I said to him. I said, the Me Too him, movement wasn't in effect yet. It's okay first. And he was like, I was like, yeah, get the fuck away from me. Holy shit. <laughs> we had a bunch of Harvey Weinsteins back then, huh? <laughs> yeah. Was that when he was married to Lisa or were there? Yes, he, when he was married to Lisa. I said, let me ask your wife first. And he was like, what? 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> But I love Daryl Harry. I do love him. So I just oh, have yeah, a hard time yeah. even saying yeah, that he because cool, I love cool him. He I did. He's still here. Uh, yeah, he gave I, it a shot. Yeah, you uh, He did give it a shot. He did. <laughs> but you know. A good old white man shot. I think he's got <laughs> Sorry. the record. See, I never did that. See, I wrote you good APRs. No, you didn't. You did not. You gave me what I deserved. <laughs> and that's all I ever <laughs> ask is what I deserve. <laughs> I think Murr was my supervisor I, at one time. I should, too, been, I, think. I should have been working at the hospital, not in wide bands. That's just, that's where I no, should have been. That's where I wanted to be. And then they put, they put me in wide band. I was like, okay, you, you well, fit I in. Suck. You're one of the guys. <laughs> you fit right in. You're well, one of the guys. Yeah. I've been one of the guys since day one. I'm still one of the guys. I have more guy friends than I have girlfriends. And it's not because I got big tits, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do? That's why yeah. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I've always been one of the guys. I tried to work with women after I got out of the Air Force. I was like, this is not going to work for me. And then I joined the fire department. I was like, I found my home. Yay. Men that are as sick as me. Yay. Oh, so, yeah. Somebody mentioned okay. McKinley earlier. He's, uh, I don't know where he's at anymore, but he actually went OSI. I stumbled upon him and, uh, at Travis Air Force Base in California. Oh, yeah. I bet he still boss. had his black Velcro watch cover on, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, <laughs> he still did. I walked in, I saw him, I went, what the? It was my first base after I left there. I was like, holy shit. He's probably working with That's Pelosi. the guy that shot himself in the foot. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Quick draw, so McKinley. Yeah. That's so the only thing I remember that. about him. Quick draw, my best my best friend from tech school, Lori Smith, we called her Beaker, and she went to the 726 in Florida. And um, when we were on our way to Columbia, we, I stopped and see her, and I kept in contact with her like, for the last 30 years. Anyways, um, about a month ago, I went to Ohio to see her when I went camping up there, and she came camping with me, and now she joined like my little sister's group, and she's going to Lake Jordan with me next weekend. Isn't that cool? After 30 some odd years, we're still hanging out. That's great. Yeah. How much you pay her? <laughs> <laughs> Off the ropes. <laughs> Rich, you would be so happy to hang out with us. Don't even lie. No, it would be fun. I have no doubt it'd be a blast. I'd hang out with any of you guys. It'd be fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, let's throw another name out. Let's crucify someone else. Okay, Murray, well, you Kelly go. Crew. Let, let me throw one in there. Let me throw one okay, in there. Okay, Go ahead, this, Dexter. Is, this, this is one of the, one of my best Merlin Van Beek memories. Uh oh. Oh God, yeah. here we go. Slapping the shit out of string fellow behind the fucking 1900 building. The what? <laughs> the 19th. What our damn shop back there on the on the dock. What did he do? He was having a little wall to wall counseling with with string fellow. Oh shit. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> hey, I still talk to Ricky String fellow. That poor kid's feet never touched the ground. Hey, I, I gave them all a choice. We can write it on paper or we can go out behind the building and finish it. But <laughs> yes! <laughs> and that's why we're, Merwin Van Beek was the best supervisor ever. I don't think Stringfellow's alive, man. No, he is. I talked to him. Is he still alive? Yeah, I talked to him. Yeah, I'm he's still around. Man. He works on towers, yeah, right? He yeah. was in yeah. Arkansas, but I think he moved to like really? Missouri or somewhere. Oh, don't, yeah. you remember, don't you remember when he threw his fucking TV out the dorm room window? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got called on that too. He was one of mine that yeah. That was the other I spent a lot of times in the dorm for them folks. <laughs> <laughs> who was uh who was the one who took off to California? What who was he? Uh, he was supposed to be on CQ duty, and they called me because he was. Somebody went, he went home. What was his name? We were always going to give him a, a chest to pin a not medal Chamberlain. on. Not Chamberlain. No, not Chamberlain. 
He was the from cannon? California, though. Now you, I went up and oh, got you. Oh, yes, the, the tall, super skinny guy with the glasses, nerdy. Yeah. From Point Wainimi. Is that yeah. who you're talking about? Yeah. Oh, God, what was his name? Yeah, because you. I see his face. You took a CQ duty for him. Well, that was nice of me. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, you told me where he was. So well, then I called his mom. She you ratted called him his mom. <laughs> I called his mom because he went home. And I called his mom and uh, I, I let her know that uh, he wasn't supposed to be there. His <laughs> last name was like. he'd be back in the morning. He, it was like little or white or something. God, yep. what was his name? I Super skinny. Name. Like six foot three, glasses, freckles. Yeah. We call him Spooner. Spooner. Don't we call him Spooner? Spooner. That's it. That's it. Is it Spooner? Spooner. Spooner. Yeah. God, I I remember him now. I remember him now. He drove that little Toyota (laughs) mini truck. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, you know who got in contact with me about three months ago? John David Moore. John Moore. You guys know John Moore? Yeah. I love John Moore. He was my buddy. Ask him, um, ask him how his teeth are. I'm sure his teeth. What, what does that mean? When he kissed the door. Anyways, he's he's on his second marriage. He's got like five kids. He lives in Arizona or New Mexico, one or the other. And he works for some high level. He's got his master's degrees. You know, killing it, whatever, making a fortune. Yeah. Doing great. I just talked to Ken Buck the other day. Oh, oh, yeah. I love Ken doing? Buck. He, he's he's uh, basically medically retired. He's uh, he got hurt really bad up in Alaska, and uh, but anyway, yeah, he's doing. He's up in Idaho, doing really well. Oh, good. I talked to Shelly for a long time when Facebook started, but I haven't seen her in a long time on Facebook. I love his his wife, his ex wife now, I guess, yeah. but she was cool. I like Shelly. I think I don't. She was here in Utah. I don't know where she's at now. Yeah, when we when I came out to your house, she came over. Remember? Yeah, because her family was from here. Oh, yeah. yeah, her new with her new husband. Yeah. What about uh, Clark? I thought he was going to be on here. Did, did yeah, he te- he texted me this morning. Said I guess he I think he might have been the one that said he has guests or something that he couldn't come. So it could be on. Okay. So but they're lost. Yeah. So whatever. <laughs> Jimmy Clark. <laughs> So you guys, no. and you so, know what? So you know, you make a lot of dumb decisions when you're young. Let's just mark that up. He, he just yeah, thinks yeah, well, stupid shit was young I mean, and dumb. Clark, man. And <laughs> now, now he's now he's fine. He he because, was uh, you know, he was another one with me and young. Cecil that caused the big problem. Yeah, go where go. I want to hear this shit. <laughs> yeah, you see, because uh, well, Cecil and uh, let's major, all fire up Merwin. Major, who was the Tillotson? major down there? Major Tillotson. Tillotson, what? Yeah. Tillotson. He was Tillotson. lieutenant well, colonel. Oh. They told me I had to write him a bad EPR, but they wouldn't tell me what for. I just had to write it. And so I refused, and they, uh, well, they, they took me up to uh, some other uh, office and reamed me for a couple hours and told me I had to listen, and I still refused to do their EPR. Um, I never did write it. <laughs> Well, I, remember I said, I said go that. ahead, whatever you're going to do, do it. But I'm not writing somebody an EPR for something I don't know what they did. And then I already knew what he did because he told me. But You had to write one for Cecil? No, I had to write it for uh, Clark. Clark. For Clark. Oh, for Clark. So, okay, okay. For, pe- for peeping in on the neighbors. Yeah, and then, on, and then Cecil White's wrote room. it and wanted me to sign it. And I said, I'm not signing anything you wrote. You, you sign okay. it. Then <laughs> so, Tillotson ended up writing it. That's why he was out right away. Uh, yeah. what, what, was our, what was I want to say our sergeant major because I've been in the Marine Corps the rest of my life after I got out of the Air Force. But our um, senior, our senior mess, our chief. What was his name? He was oh, cool. Slaughter. Slaughter. Chisnell something. Slater. 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 The name. Slater. Yep. The, Slater. Slater. The name fit him so no, well because he looked. Slater. Who, who's the other one? Uh, oh, who was the? Was we like have a different one for a while. Cotton, it was like Chisnell or, or. I don't know. I don't even I don't remember Slater because I was him. probably was gone. 
Yeah, Slater. Benito Slater. Play, the name fits I'm Slater. I'm going to play the you ass and rip people up. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. I, thought, I always thought Slater was pretty good. I mean, you're right. If you deserved an ass chew and he wouldn't hesitate to give it to you. Oh, yeah. He he was he yeah, was I liked mean. Him. I did. I had no problems with him, too. I liked him. If you showed up to the recall without your dicky, you were fucking – you were dead meat. <laughs> <laughs> I remember a wide man sitting, at, you know, at the bottom. We'd be sitting there, the whole – all the tables full of people on break time. See Slater coming down the hill. There'd be people bumping into each other, man, to pretend like we're busy. <laughs> hey, don't you remember when you had, you had you guys all lined up at attention and formation out in front of the building, chewing your ass? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on out there? All oh. our hiding in the back. Ah! Oh, I, we were down in people Columbia once. Hand on the Clystron. I got a, I got a Slater story when we were in Columbia, and he was down there, and it was. It was me and there was a, a big, uh, I think it was an age troop. I think he was an age guy. And Slaughter was looking for us. And we seen him come and, and we went, just kept going in one door and out the other door. And he was looking for us. And we did it to him all dang day. We were watching him. And boy, when he caught us, he was pretty hot. <laughs> you remember Linville? Linville, when he his the Snickers bar? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good day yeah that was a good day who, who was yeah. down there with why that was pullman who's pullman Teresa pullman, Harry pullman yeah. yeah where the hell is she i mean she, she basically disappeared she was She's a white man group wasn't she yep yeah, yeah she was work, right. she was okay. working for snickers at the time doing something i don't know what it was and then he bet that snickers that was like the best day of my life <laughs> Broke both teeth off in the Snickers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh shit! We we took it. We put him in the freezer. Remember that, Louis? Yeah, yeah. Stuck we the kept Snickers. them. They were still stuck in the candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that, Slater? Uh, that was no. uh, Cottonwood. Cottonwood. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. We just called him Cotton Balls, and he gets so mad. L at what was his Linville. name? Cotton. That's Cotton Sergeant Balls. Linville. Sergeant Linville. <laughs> Yeah, Master Sergeant Linville. Linville. There you go. Yeah. How did we get cotton balls out of that? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Linville was his name. Yeah. He was like a ground radio guy, wasn't he? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And what gave you? Destry, whatever happened to Wayne, man? Willard. <laughs> Willard? You remember Willard? <laughs> he ended up having like six kids. Yeah. <laughs> You remember up having to win. Do you remember when he left when he left Columbia with her? Were you there? Yeah, he I was there. Own, had his own plane. <laughs> oh fuck! The, he showed up with a fucking truckload of shit. And said, "Hey, we're putting this on here. We're leaving with you." And we're all like, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was there. Was he, was there, there on, dude, he was there on vacation. He was on leave, personal leave. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How did he get away with that shit? He had a remember the letter from the State Department he whipped out. Look, it's all legit. We're all like, what? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Got to make what the hell was his, what the hell was his wife's name? I can't remember her name. I can't. Lisette. I don't remember. I don't know. Lisette. Lisette was that it? Yeah. All yeah. her household goods. <laughs> I, I I remember I remember I remember taking that poor guy to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> remember this blue balls. <laughs> Yep, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Blue balls. <laughs> but he'd hang oh, out. At, he'd hang out at his downstairs house, <laughs> and, and there were and he was teaching. They were both Mormon. Let's, let's just put it that way. They were both. Who are we talking about? Wayne Willard. Somebody named Blue Balls. <laughs> Somebody named Blue Balls. <laughs> but anyways, he, he was a a, a reefer guy. And uh, he used to hang out at his girlfriend's house, and uh, they were both saving themselves till marriage. <laughs> and I had, yeah, to take right. him to the I had to take him to the hospital because his balls were so huge <laughs> that you know, it, it was because of some infection. <laughs> I had to take him to the hospital. The nurses were loving it. I've never <laughs> seen a, I've never seen a nurse throw a needle like a dart. You just nail his ass. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wayne elevated. He came off that table. He was face down, and he just came off the table. Because <laughs> he, 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 he rubbed that nurse in a wrong way, man. He just that nurse. He he did that to people, but that She's nurse the extra did not long like needle. <laughs> oh that's yeah. Called, that's called punitive medical procedures. Hey, that was a good one. That was that wasn't as good as Yamamoto, man. When he got sick down there. Yamamoto. <laughs> Oh shit! Here, oh, oh, Yamamoto. That guy. <laughs> yeah, he he was my supervisor for a while. Shit, I, I saw him. They gave him an enema. They said that cures everything. Yeah. <laughs> who who was that? Hearing... Who hung around? That was Lambert. Lambert's hung around with him on. Lambert. Oh, uh, oh, Don. Yeah, yeah. Don. Don. I think Don. Don yeah. Don. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yamamoto came to the shop. I was like, holy shit, somebody that's the same color and kind of looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> Small arms training. Right. <laughs> he, was a, he, was a, he was a stoner, man. That guy was funny. <laughs> His arms were short, don't, weren't they? They're like T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll so, never forget that. And, I forget the enema story. <laughs> and we stuck your baby in your host of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I remember so the, I had to go replace him. Remember all the things you said? You get a pump hose, you get a radiator hose up your ass. You yeah. get a sniffle, you get a radiator hose up your ass. You stub your toe, get a radiator hose. Yeah, a radiator hose and Motrin. That, that was a cure all for a while. <laughs> we had that. We had that kid that worked in age that I think his name was John Walker. He got bit by that spider. Oh yeah. We took, we took him over there, and they said, "Well, if you're still alive tomorrow, you'll be okay." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just so, wanted yeah, to say funny. all of you. <laughs> All of you are dressed exactly the same. You all have a solid color t-shirt on. Every single one of you. <laughs> and? I have an Eddie Van Halen t-shirt on. And me and Destry have the same haircut. <laughs> Mine says four, baby. <laughs> Woo! Oh, you guys make me laugh. Wait, wait, wait. Iowa Hawkeyes. Iowa. What do you have, Destry? What do you got? Four, four. Four. Rich, what you got going on? I got Team Rubicon. Destry, oh, go yeah. lower. Destry, Louis. go lower. <laughs> Louis, what go you lower, got? Destry. I can't read it. Lake Superior. Yeah, go, Destry. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> <laughs> they put on some stripper music for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, so, oh, um, so Rich and Steph, I think Hill was your guys' first duty station, right? Or no? Right. Yeah. First and last. And what about you, Louis? Yeah. Louis and the rest of you guys? Uh, mine was uh my first station after Keesler was uh Kelly Air Force Base. Kelly, where the hell's Kel Texas? I was like, where the hell's that? Yeah, it, was, it was right, right next. It was right, right next to Lackland. And then oh, okay. after that, I went to uh, I went to the 604th uh, Direct Air Support Squadron in uh, in Weijiangbu, Korea. It was 12 miles from the DMZ. Oh shit! Not bad, Randy. We're remote. Where were you yeah. at, Randy? The, yeah. Uh, my first assignment was Dias Air Force Base in Texas, working BIS. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you worked in BIS, huh? Wow. I did yeah. too. I did too before I came so, to the shop. Oh, yeah. Then, Where were you at before? The, after that. Oh, sorry. I Randy, got, go ahead. I got sent on a remote tour uh, to Greece on a mountaintop for a year. Uh, That's uh, Chris, Myrie, and uh, Les Stafford were there with me. That. Oh yeah. And then uh, they closed that site down. We were like ten months in, and uh, sent all three of us to Hill. Oh, yeah. With uh, where, we, where we all sat around in a little room for I don't know how long. Yep. Didn't have any equipment. No equipment. <laughs> no nothing. Yeah, that, that's was, what happened to 
that's what happened to us too, Randy. I was at the 603rd in Germany. Yeah. Sembach, Germany, and they closed that down and they sent all. That's why, like me and Robidoux and Groves, we all came from there. They closed yep. it down and sent us all the hill. And uh, Airman White and Airman, or Sergeant Brown, I guess. White, then yeah. I think she got married. I think you all came from that same unit, didn't yep. you? Yeah, we all came from there. All that equipment came from there. Right, right. Yep. Randy, when was that, approximately? That would have been... 586? 87? 86. 86. 87, yeah. Yep. 87? Yeah. Yeah, wow. I, I got there May, May of 87. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Destry? I, my, my, my orders cut from tech school said the 84th TAC control flight, Little Mountain, Utah. <laughs> I, said, I said, what the hell is a TAC control flight and where the hell is Little Mountain, Utah? And then I, <laughs> later, I got a second set of orders. It's not a TAC control flight. <laughs> so that was awesome. So I, I ended up getting there in August of 86 and there was no equipment. Yeah. We, we, we lived in those old dorm buildings over there by correctional custody. <laughs> and uh, we played a lot of pinochle and cribbage and that was pretty much it and then when all the equipment started showing up we would we got our place out there on the other end of the base <laughs> did you guys start finally getting equipment in 87 ish then uh yeah like yeah. end of 86 beginning i remember we were unloading a track 30 and opened the door and the fucker was full of seawater <laughs> really? And uh, it had fallen. It had fallen off the ship at port, and nobody bothered to say anything. It was completely full of OC water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good times. Right on. Well, like I, like it, Crone. Go ahead. Sorry. Then I ended up with an assignment to uh, ended up with an assignment to Camp Red Cloud, and it got. I was on Red Line because I was on a control roster. So I didn't have that's, to go to that. Thank God. That's where I got to go. It was Camp Red Cloud. I was like, Camp Red Cloud? Where the hell is that? Loved it. Yeah. Then I got my shit together. Bannigan, Bannigan helped me out. I got my shit together. And, and uh, <laughs> my, my last hurrah was I got the uh, Superior Performer Award at our ORI in 94. And uh, then right after that, I turned my paperwork and it said, see, bullshit, I'm out of here. Done. <laughs> but Destry, Destry, you got to bust Dan again because she, remember she was harassing you about being on today and she's nowhere to be found today. Uh, you know what? She's old and feeble. It'll be okay. Who, <laughs> who all retired? Who all retired in here? I'm retired. Louie, you from retired? The <laughs> yeah, from uh, the military. military. Uh, I went to the military. Years. I'm retired now, but you know, oh, okay. I meant from the military. I'm from the military. I didn't know yeah. who stayed in long enough. No. I retired <laughs> from the mil from the Air Force. Bless you. Um, yeah. I did uh, ten years active duty, and then they did ten more in the Guard yeah. here in Iowa. So my husband Not me. did thirty active duty Marine Corps. Yay! Nice. Yay! Now we're double dipping. Yeah, we were poor. Now yeah. we're not. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I see so I didn't reenlist that fucker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a piece of work. On one deployment. You, uh, I don't from, know if you aside. guys remember. I don't know if you guys remember, but he uh he threw me out of the wide band shop. There. Yeah, well, I remember. Yeah, because I yelled at him. Yep. I yelled at him and he, like the next day he sent me to job control. Yeah. <laughs> what a little bitch. What a fucking bitch, man. <laughs> yeah. A little yeah. bitch. He was such a weasel. God, he was he such was. a weasel. I he got him good at Wendover. I fucking got him good at Wendover twice. His little freaking space heater, I closed the vent and his tent filled up with soot. <laughs> 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 but I don't think that anybody hated Cecil more than Hewitt. Hewitt hated oh. Cecil. <laughs> like, Merwin hated Cecil. I think Hewitt hated Cecil ten yeah, times. Yeah, he did. He did. 
But that Cecil, he was a hated guy. Nobody liked him. I, I know him. I mean, I just, uh, you know. Yeah, because he, he was a freaking, he was an admin guy in a bunch of, a shop with a bunch of grunts. He didn't belong there. Yeah, he yeah. didn't belong down there. Oh. Cecil was the guy in high school that everybody hit in the back of the head when he was walking down the hallway. And then some, <laughs> he got some, and he was going to get even everybody. <laughs> That's yeah, like Billy sure. Madison with the guy with the list of people that he's going to shoot. I'm like, damn, I'm lucky I'm not on the list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what happened at Chamberlain? What happened at Chamberlain? Chamberlain, I no don't idea. know. No idea. He was from Montana. What happened to Madison? And white. <laughs> well, Steph, before you got caught off, was, he, he, he was your first station, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. My first and well, my I, last. Like Crone, I, I worked in BIS as well, but in, in Kunsan, Korea, before I came to Hill. So, Yeah, but anyway. Oh, Louis, Louis casted foot there. There it is, man. <laughs> Look at you. Are those SpongeBob boxers you got? Nice on? legs. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they declare SpongeBob gay yesterday? Wasn't that news? I don't know. Did I miss that? Louis, do you shave your legs? No, no. <laughs> Your legs are probably smoother than Steph's. <laughs> no, no. They're about as hairy as they as hers used to be. <laughs> yeah. Oh. My chest, I got a hairy chest. Oh God. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so since he's not oh, here, does anybody uh, have what's that? Go ahead, sorry. What about what does what about the Hispanic girl that worked with us? I can't remember her name. She was, I loved her. Um, Claudia. Claudia Bermudez. 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 Thank you. Oh, yeah. Huh. I wonder if she's still a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> well, if oh, that was Watson. About me, the I sense yeah. a little sarcasm there. <laughs> that was Watson. Remember, remember Watson? Remember Airman Watson, the blonde chick that, uh, said she was still a virgin because every time she did it, she used a condom. <laughs> what? You, you remember her? She wasn't there very long. I don't remember her. I don't remember her. I was a supervisor. I remember the name. Her, her ass was about this wide. <laughs> but, I don't remember. No, she, had, she had blonde hair. And, uh, yeah, she, she used to swear that she was still a virgin because <laughs> every time she did it, the guy used a condom. <laughs> Bless her heart. All righty then. That's one That's way. I one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she was a. She was a different one. <laughs> How about JP? <laughs> JP Penis is in Albuquerque. Yeah. He's a big wig in Albuquerque. Doing? I don't know exactly, but I I know he's uh he's a, he's up there. Really? Yeah, he's doing. He's really, still really in. Really. And he's out. He retired. He retired as an officer. I think he retired a major or a colonel. Good for him. Who's that? Uh, JP. Do you guys want to hear something funny? JP, JP was like a lieutenant colonel. Lieutenant colonel? Yeah. Yeah. So you, I, yeah. I'll have to tell you guys something funny. I was an officer's wife for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you, you were a good one, weren't you? <laughs> Oh, you had to be the token offer, token officer's wife. Oh shit! I got in so much trouble. You have no idea how much trouble I got into. My husband would say, "I knew you were gonna ruin my career. I just didn't realize it was so quick." Oh, I gotta tell you that story. So here we are. This is we're living in staff Robinson. housing. We're living in staff housing at Camp Pendleton, and I've got these two little kids, and I've got a neighbor who's an asshole, and um. My husband had just been promoted to warrant officer, okay? And which we don't have it in the Air Force, but they have in the Marine Corps. So he just became an officer, right? We're still living in staff housing. And um, the neighbor, I'm in there changing my son's diaper. He's like two years old. And I can hear my, my neighbor, we live in this duplex in staff housing. I can hear my neighbor next door out there talking shit about my kids. Well. Ooh. You know, there's just one thing you don't do to mama bear is talk shit about her kids. So finish that diaper out the screen door. I went, I remember the screen door just slamming as I walked out and she's standing in our front yard 
and I punched her right in the face. She had glasses on. They went, Whoa! I remember that. <laughs> so here we are, fist fight on in the front yard, whatever. The neighbor comes over. He's put the hose on us. He's squirting us, pulling us apart. She weighed about two right. pounds. All your mission was a jello. She's bleeding. It was a nightmare, right? The cops come. They're there the whole nine yards. My husband comes home from lunch. And he rolls up and he looks at me. He said, I knew you were going to ruin my career. I just didn't know it was going to be this quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there's that. <laughs> but he ended up doing 30 years and it was fine. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And he was, walk, we he was walking on thin ice the whole time, too. <laughs> yeah. When we lived in Okinawa, we lived in Okinawa for four years. And I used to go down to the local Japanese bar. And there was this dart league down there that I used to play darts with. It was all enlisted guys, like, you know, sergeant and below. And I was on a dart team with them. Used to drink every Wednesday and Saturday night, used to play darts with them. Oh, Lord. The shit my husband used to get for that. People be calling in saying, your wife's down there freaking playing darts with a bunch of enlisted folks. My husband be like, you have to stop. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. I was enlisted. I don't give a shit who you are. This is. So he from. She's she's being censored by the Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's <not> exactly right. <laughs> the Wi-Fi. That didn't really work very well. <laughs> that, that didn't work real well. <laughs> Who's drinking milk? Oh, she's just Who's drinking milk? <laughs> Not me. Richard. No, Rich isn't no, drinking I just milk. Finished my, uh, I just finished my tequila and margarita mix. Oh, there you go. A margarita. <laughs> well, I need to... What shop was she in? <laughs> <laughs> who, remembers, who remembers Rich Robbins' wedding? And all of wide band sitting in the back. Oh, I, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, and you guys, we had a bunch. You guys had a bunch of Mickey's or some shit before or something. Uh, me and me and Hewitt were fucked up as football <laughs> bats. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> 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 fucked up as a football. And man. we're sitting, we're and we're sitting in the back, and uh, and the bishop, whoever it was, I was marrying you to, was talking about you know because you're military. That you're the, a man of the, you know, when he was talking about you guys getting married, how you're a man of the world and how you're do all this special, this special, that. And I remember Hewitt just <laughs> lost it, man. Me He's Hewitt like, he ain't worth the shit. Just <laughs> lost it. And all of us, yeah. And all of us, you know, I think, I think you were there, Stephanie. Were you in the back row with us? She's, she went off screen. She fell uh, off the chair again. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, uh, I'll never forget that. Yeah, that lasted all the way. Hey, speaking of that, I got actually I went. Oh, I, so I was married to her through my OSI Academy. Went to Travis, my first base, and uh, she actually got me kicked out of base housing, my own house. And and the, and the commander came and got me and sent me to the dorms. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. She was from here, wasn't she? Yeah. She she moved back there actually. Yeah, shit, uh, Rich. Knowing who she was, I, I didn't think she would actually get, do that or do something like that to you, man. Like, little did yeah, I know. Act, huh? Yeah, it was bad. Actually, the cops pulled me over, so I had a horse at the time over at the stables. So I was coming back from the stables to my own base housing, and uh, the cops pulled me over. I'm like, I wasn't speeding or anything. And he came up my window, and he asked by his arm. I, I'm like, no, I didn't, I didn't bring it home this weekend. He's like, okay. And then they followed me to the house, and my commander was there. I took my credentials out. He was a, uh, who I think he was a 05 at the time. He was a Lieutenant Colonel. I pulled my credentials out, my badge of credentials, and I smacked him right in the chest with him. I'm like, fuck OSI. Cause it was a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. I, I hit him right in the chest with him. I was like, fuck you guys. Kick me out of my own house. That's, that's yeah, terrible. Man. Nah. I guess crazy, Steph went crazy. AWOL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were <laughs> but it's good i mean uh, it turned out good i don't even talk to her actually the two kids don't even talk to her anymore oh shit wow. 
How old are how are how old are they, Richard? Your first from your first marriage. Uh, Brittany, who is in Utah, she is uh, thirty, and then Jared, uh, he's here in Colorado as a wildland firefighter. He is uh, twenty six. Okay. Wow. Right on. Yep. That's good. Yeah, I got I got two girls, uh, twenty two and uh, twenty six. Cool. And a three-year-old granddaughter. That's awesome. No, no grandkids yet. My kids aren't ready to have kids, so <laughs> keep encourage yeah. them. Keep encourage them not to have kids because I ain't watching them. <laughs> but that'll all change, I guess, when you get them up. So, since the man of the hour isn't here, do anybody, any of you guys, have any good Tex Bowen stories? Since he's not here, let's roast him. Since he's not here. <laughs> oh shit! Who remembers the? the log cabin going away party it was a going away party for tex and a coming back from columbia party for a whole bunch of us <laughs> you remember that destry yeah i remember that <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I, remember. I, I was there i don't remember anything <laughs> tex put up tex turned put out the the fireplace, put up the fireplace with the fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. I remember that. I remember, I, I, one of the funniest sights that I ever saw that's still clear in my head was looking out the window, seeing Noel stumbling backwards, <laughs> hitting the ground, <laughs> and there comes Destry, man, flying off the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Just landing on Noel. I don't know how many times we separated them that night. <laughs> he had it coming. <laughs> he had it coming. Yeah. Uh, te Tex was nuts, though, guys. Being his roommate, holy shit. <laughs> you know, he he was actually my first supervisor at Hill. <laughs> was he? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. You know how, like, when you're at your duty station and you He's get this still... letter, the letter saying, oh, so-and-so is going to be your first supervisor? Yep, Tex was my first supervisor. <laughs> that that yeah. night at that log cabin party, we found Tex like at three in the morning, face down on the floor in his room. Yeah, not a yeah. not a stitch of club. Front door wide, his door wide open, butt naked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, just roll him over so he doesn't choke on his own vomit. We'll shut the door and let him be. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was a hell of a night that night. Woo. He doesn't party as much, but he's still funny as hell. What, is he, still get what does he do? He's what a he do respiratory therapist. Yeah, respiratory therapist. Respiratory oh, therapist. shit. Okay. Yeah. Married his high school sweetheart. Serious? Did he really? Wow. Yeah, he's, he's doing really good. They're doing really good, man. Awesome. Yeah, she's, a, she's a nice lady to put up with his shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's a she's a sweetheart. Hey, yeah, he was a fucking he was a hoot, man. Hey, tell the story about tell the story about you and him and JP at the dry cow. Oh, at the at the with the cowboy hat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember this one. I thought for sure we we're gonna die that night. <laughs> <laughs> we walked in there. Tex had been drinking tequila, so he was hammered. And uh, we walk in there, and there's this, this cowboy, probably as big, if not bigger, than Robidoux. And you mean there's somebody bigger than Robbie? Yeah. yeah. Tex, walks up, Tex walked up behind him and took his cowboy hat. Oh, shit. Takes it, puts it on there, and I, I, he says, I can't remember what he said, but he said something about, I hey, hate, he went with, I he went with the Eddie Murphy line for 48 hours, dude. What's that? Oh yeah, <laughs> and the only thing that saved us. Up in town, I hate white people. Yeah, yeah, he said, so I hate white people. I hate white people, and I own this fucking place. That's what he said. <laughs> I, I thought I, all I could think of was, oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> it's gonna be painful. <laughs> but I don't know if you guys remember Angie. She used to come party with us every now and then. She was an older lady, cowgirl. Oh, she wanted text bad. And has she not been there that night? 
they would have never found us. They would have never found our bodies. <laughs> J- JP was so young, he didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> but I thought for sure we we're going to die. Yeah, good old text. Oh, who, who remembers, if you can't tap dance in a chair, you're a queer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> home. Oh, oh dear lord I'll, I'll never forget the trip back from mountain home back to uh oh man back to, that was me and destry and clemens <laughs> <laughs> destry and i were passed out because we partied so much the night before oh geez clemens is just flying down the road pulling the dash eights and the and the deuce I'm sitting in the middle. I, I wake up and I look in the mirror. Are we on fire? And there's flames coming out of the tire. <laughs> out of the trailer. And then, and then, me, and then, if it wasn't bad enough, they left me. We had a flat tire. Since there was a flat tire on it, we didn't have any any more spares. They left me in Destry out there. What about five hours in the hot sun? With half a canteen of water. <laughs> half a canteen of water. Hung over. Hung over fucking pigs, man. <laughs> oh. oh, man. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a good trip. That's where um, we were all at that, uh, I don't remember if it was an Airman's Club or an NCO club. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember, we were all, we were all yeah, out, there. out in the gym, yeah. in the gym. Check yeah, yeah. in there. Yeah, we slept in the yeah. gym that night, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we slept yeah. 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 that's right. Oh. McKinley, I remember him now. He had to come and get us because somebody yeah. was playing. He came and got us and made us leave. I don't remember who yeah. all was there. Were, were you there, Everybody. Louie or Merlin? Or, yeah, I, was I think there. I was I mean, there. There was a whole bunch of people there. Tex and, and, Tex um, and I were the reason I got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> well, doesn't, he doesn't said, surprise well, any guys, of us. We're you guys were doing okay. Until you started booing the ugly chicks that came in That's the door. Right. Yeah. We, <laughs> we mooed. We, we went moo when two big old girls came in. <laughs> and shortly after that, man, we're out of there. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, we're sitting by, we had things sitting by the door. We were rating the girls, eight, ten, moo. <laughs> I forgot all about that. <laughs> we, that, we would we would not sure. be able to do that shit today. We'd be in so much fucking trouble right now if we did oh, that shit today. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh, Half yeah. the shit that we did back then, we'd be so fried right now. Oh man. Were yeah. we, we partying with those uh, guard pilots that flew inverted over the freaking site up there on? Yeah. On Bald, on Bald Mountain. Bald Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they come between them damn antennas. Remember that? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Inverted. <laughs> Jesus. Canopy that's a, down, waving. Hey. That's a that's that's the time that uh Hewitt puked on Pritzkow. <laughs> Pritzkow. I, Pritzkadale. Yeah. Pritzkadale. I haven't heard that fucking name. Pritzkow. He was he was oh man. He, he's another guy that would probably take his lunch money for it. <laughs> oh yeah. That, that was that was the same trip the deer hunters almost started shooting us. <laughs> Prince Cadell. Prince Cadell. <laughs> hey, wasn't, wasn't it Bowens that left the air out on his tires on his truck? Was it probably. that, Kevin? Probably. I, <laughs> probably. I think so. He, Just blame was, text for everything. Prince Cow comes out and he's clumping up one, and Bowen snuck around on the other side. <laughs> Took the other one out, right? Let the other one go flat? He did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Parked right in front of the shop down there. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. So, so is the shop still in the same? same oh, sorry. Go ahead, Louis. Michelle Brown. Who remembers her? Oh yeah. Mar- yeah, Brown. Yeah. yeah, I know who she yeah. is. Yeah. I remember, I remember knocking her with a snowball. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Remember, Buda hit her, hit her with the snowball, man. <laughs> <laughs> he, he ducked. I was trying to hit him, and it, he ducked and it hit her in the back of the head. Yeah, she she was she was checking the air pressure on uh on the mobilizer. 
<laughs> oh, she got it on. Yeah. Yeah. Snowball hit her in the back of the head. She went boom, and it was lights out. Man. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. She got knocked oh, out. Pastor, <laughs> she hit her head on the on the tire. Oh shit! Was, <laughs> she, she went like that, and it was she was checking the air pressure, and it was lights out, man. It was funny. Hey, Greg, Greg, Greg had an arm on him too, so it probably hit her really hard. <laughs> Oh yeah! No, it wasn't Greg. It was me. I the one that threw the snowball. Oh, you was did? You? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're throwing it at Greg. You're throwing it at Greg. I was Greg. throwing it at Greg, and he ducked. Oh, yeah. I knew Greg was involved in there with that one. Yeah. Hey, and, and the bad thing was, there was twenty of us, and as soon as she went down, there was only one of one of us, and it was me. You all took off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I thought I killed her. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> oh yeah oh we got we got to give mary hell next time i know I, she was all gung-ho about being on this thing and she gave destry a bunch of shit about not being on and she's not on here so everybody yeah. should text bomber and ask her where the fuck she's at so i'll, I'll text her right now and tell her where the fuck she's at so she's she's always uh, stalking my, uh, always, my facebook i was jernigan was on here yeah i know <laughs> where the heck is jernigan what's he doing Jernigan at his ass caught. He's in he's like, uh, North, Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's Outer Banks. Yeah, yeah. Right. he's he's doing. He sells boat, or he was selling boats or something like that. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was working for that Paul Man boats. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Expensive, real expensive yachts. Yeah. Him and, him and yeah. Mary are still married, I believe. Yeah, he's still married to Mary. Man. Yeah, I, I hear from him. It's been about a year now, but I hear from him now and then. He call. He usually calls when he's fucked up, you know. <laughs> Which is all the time. Well, That's like every warrior. night. <laughs> yeah, Warrior Medina. <laughs> what was, what? He, me, he called me up one time. He, what, that, he was a strong guy, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. Journey yeah, is another corn-fed white boy, I tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah when he was, was when he was drunk, man, he tossed me around like a rag doll in in Colombia. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> wait, wait, was that like the night he was knocking on the nurse's door? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the night when he knocked on the girl's door. <laughs> <laughs> that began my life as a as an interpreter. <laughs> I, I, I just remember I, talk, I talked us out of jail that that day. Oh, they're gonna take they're gonna take me and Journey get to jail because the new nurses had gotten there. <laughs> and he's knocking on the door. Constancia, por favor. <laughs> Remember that green-eyed nurse? Holy oh, smoke! Yeah. <laughs> I remember stick. I remember, remember when we stuck the snake in the shower with that SP. Oh yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't wrap in the shower curtain, holding his nine millimeter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Steph's coming. Steph, went, oh, there she is. I was going to say, Steph, everybody give you a bunch of shit because you left. Dude, okay, I did not fucking leave. I went to make what a did margarita. did you go, take a shit? No, I did not go take a shit. <laughs> I went to She went to go get better internet <laughs> service. <laughs> you want to jump onto my mobile hotspot, Steph? <laughs> <laughs> it's called Buda Copper at L3. Yeah, he's still there. Holy cow. Just hang up. <laughs> just, <laughs> hey, hey, Steph, just mute that shit, man. You can hang out and listen. <laughs> oh. Everybody's waiting for her to come back on. Yeah. Oh, but, she's still not on. No, no she's on, but on. she's like her her internet. I don't know, it's flaky. So I think she, she went uh, to go move or whatever. She she was the one that put me back together after I cracked my head open in the kiddie pool in Columbia. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Who did? Steph did. Yeah. Oh, I'll never forget that one. <laughs> <laughs> Threw a swan dive a swan dive into the kiddie pool. <laughs> Is that? Hey, Destry, was that before we got kicked out of the officer's side or before? That was after. 
After, yeah. Um, that's why we were there because we couldn't be in the officer's club pool anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you ready? You ready for it? So what? Did you get better is... internet? <laughs> Can you see me? No. No. Leave your camera off. The camera's <laughs> off. Yeah. Some there you are. Okay. Um. So what was your best memory from that time? God, it's all a blur to me. <laughs> I tell you, one of my part. favorite, one so of my favorite the memories. Memory from the Air Force time. I'm the girl. I'm gonna do the emotional shit. Of course. Every memory is a good memory. Yeah. Oh yeah. One of my favorite ones though was uh, when we cleared out the bay and played bay hockey. Bay hockey. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah, that was the fucking best. And coming from Hawaii, yeah. I had no clue what hockey was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good time right there. Yep. Yep. So if we weren't doing that, we were up here, we were up here painting rocks and pulling weeds. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Wilson. Mer I like, I Merwin's the party. I remember <laughs> Merwin's party. Uh oh. Yeah. You, I, I bet you. I know exactly what part you remember, don't you, Randy? Who, yeah. Whose wife was that that I got mad at? I don't know. <laughs> Big. Big tall Jethro guy. Yeah. Uh, he turned off what my country music. Yeah. Oh. What could I that do? That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what, what could I do? I don't need to get after the girls too much, but you know. <laughs> I, I think oh, the memory, one of the good memories that I had was uh, me and Merwin uh, carried Hewitt to his door. <laughs> <laughs> we've, been, uh, we've been partying with uh, what was the guy's name? When we were up at uh, Eden, partying at the condo with uh, me, you, and Hewitt, and uh, we had to go visit that guy up in Eden. Yeah, I can't then, remember his name is though, but yeah. But yeah, we came back and uh, we dropped Hewitt off at uh, at the at the at their condo, and just sat him up be, by the door, <laughs> rang the door. We rang the doorbell and me and Merwin ran. <laughs> it was like one or two in the morning. Yeah, we ran we around were... to a side window and we watched. <laughs> when Lori so... came to the door and he fell in. <laughs> uh, she beat the crap out of him. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't allowed to play with me and Merwin after that. <laughs> oh, me, oh. I, it, it's a good story about Hewitt. Uh, me and he, we, what was the reservoir? We used to go up that reservoir up to the mountains. Starvation. Oh. Anyway, we'd Causey go up there and reservoir. party. Well, his wife told him he could only have one six pack of beer. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and bought one of them with a like six well, big 32 ounce bottle. I don't bottles. know why I can't see you guys. And she broke them all. Can't see you. Yeah. Did she? <laughs> and she broke them all. There you are, Steph. Okay, there we are. It was Kazi yeah. Reservoir. Kazi Reservoir. Yeah. Off the oh, yeah. Pine View. Kazi. Pine View. Pine View sounds right. So but, my uh, best yeah. memory is not particularly a event, but my best memory is really honestly, and you guys are gonna be like, you're a suck up bitch, but it's just having Murr as my supervisor and knowing that there was. Oh actually, God. Uh, I'm gonna get up there. I can I believe your video off. <laughs> no, it actually had my back. Like, it was the first time in my life that there was somebody that was going to fucking stick up for me because I didn't have that at home. And it was the first time that anybody actually had my back in my whole life. And thank you, Murr. You're my boy. I love you forever. I still got it. <laughs> now. He's, he's yes, I love you forever. <laughs> actually, I think uh, from, from my standpoint, a wide band standpoint, that the three – uh, I don't know, Spot, you never supervised me, but I don't even know who you supervised back in that day, but Randy, Murr, and you, would all, would, all three of them would have your back. That's what I'll tell, say about, from a wide band standpoint, the guys that are on this call, uh, I would not even have hesitated back in the day. All three of them had your back. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. You know, one of the best memories I have is, you remember the table in the corner where the big chalkboard was, where everybody would sit and bullshit? Yeah. That said, pay for your coffee, you fuckers. Yeah. Yep. 
I love going by that table, and no matter what time of the day, there would be five or six people just sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> I love that. And they were just bullshitting. And you can sit down and you can just bullshit with somebody at any, about something any time of the day. And no matter what you were doing, Randy always walked through the door and had something stupid to say. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Jernigan. Randy Jernigan. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. No, oh. not you. Randy, Randy Jernigan. I, I think... Always coming through the door, saying some stupid shit, and everybody kind of looked at each other like, what the fuck? <laughs> Nothing's changed. <laughs> there was one time sitting at that table on the, before the morning brief, and uh, I was sitting, I was, I, I remember like yesterday, I was sitting there, we were all bullshitting before anybody ever got there. And here comes, here comes Hewitt in with this coffee cup and he made me get the fuck up so he could sit down there and do nothing. <laughs> I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. I still talk about that story today. <laughs> that's, where I, that's where I learned to drink coffee. I'd learned to drink coffee in the 729th. Amen. You know, you know that whole building we had down there was a pretty good spot. It was. Yeah. No, it was no, we didn't really. Sure. I never considered to be part of that upper compound. Oh hell no! I never considered hell myself no. to even be part of them. I just had to put up with them. And, yeah. uh, I never yeah, did dude. like much up there, except for when I got Randy a... went to job control. Then we had something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we had a we had an insider. We had a we had a mole on the on the other side. Huh? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Best time of my career, right there. Job <laughs> control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Randy, yeah, like, Randy, like, Randy. Kind of like uh, what kind of going on off of what Mercy, just the shop itself, like Seth had memories, Rich, whatever. Just pulling up to the shop and seeing the gang, you know, like it, to this day, I, I, I never hesitate to share about you guys and not one memory in particular, just the, my whole time there was just fantastic. I always say it's a small chapter in my life, but it, it was a huge one. So, you know, the like good I said, chapter. I hold you guys, yeah. and you yes, I hold you guys in such high regard, man. And so, the biggest thing and, I and regret not doing up, was you, what's that? I say you pull up to the top of that mountain and you park your car and you walk down the hill and everybody was sitting down there waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, they, they give you during shit all winter the time, way you down. Get, right? Yeah. That's what family does, man. Yeah. So you know, I like I said, it, it, um, I never hesitate hesitate to share. You know, if anybody asks what I did, and you guys always come first. It's like that. These are the best time of my life. That that short time I was there was amazing. You know. But, yeah, you know, I, I, any success that I've had, I, I kind of always attribute to, I learned how to deal with people there. A lot of different <laughs> kinds of people, you yeah. know, good people, bad people, but, uh, yep. you know, you learn how to deal with them. And, you know, when my kids, my kids all went to military college, they went to VMI, and I, my son, they both wanted to go there, but I, I more pushed my daughter to go there because Lord knows she needed it. She was my daughter. So I knew I was like, ah. I knew, I know you need this. So, and she couldn't go in the military because she was, she's epileptic. So she went kicking and screaming to her first day at VMI, called, called when she could and said, I'm quitting. I'm coming home. I said, my ass, you're quitting. You're going to fucking see the shit through period end of the story because you don't have a home to come home to. So you better stick that shit out. Well, she ended up graduating with honors the whole nine yards, but the first year is hell. Um, and I'm telling you, I used to tell them, I'm like, look, you are going to learn things that you will never learn anywhere else. You will learn time management. You will learn how to deal with people. You will learn how to make, to push yourself, to be the best that you can be always. And boy, was I right. They just have succeeded significantly from their experience in the military, just like everybody else does, really, if you make the most of it. Oh, yeah. You're here. Good deal. It is. It is for sure. I wish yeah. all of you could have made. Uh, I wish Destry and Spot or all of you. I wish all of you could have made it to that party. Yeah, I was just gonna say. I, I yeah, I, re I totally regret missing that one. But fuck, I couldn't pass up a free trip from my grandma. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> free uh, trip yeah. to Vegas. And was it was like her last trip. So let's let's say hopefully you know we can do another one soon. That one for sure. I'll make sure I make it. Yeah. it, it I was will like say. I'm sorry. Go, go, Louie. Sorry. I was gonna say, no, it's like we, seeing everybody was uh, like we hadn't missed a beat. Nope. Well, we Never have. Right now. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, poor. Uh, you know, 
a second for Stutzman, but of course, Stutz, yeah. he really pushed for that party. He did. And, uh, it's almost like yeah. he knew he was going to die. Yeah, I think he knew he was sick. And yeah. you know what? He really enjoyed that time with everybody. It was really his time to shine. So I'm very happy that he had that. Yeah. yeah. Never met anybody. You know, he, well, he drank yeah. 300 beers in those 10 <laughs> days. <laughs> Dude, he made he fucking made me laugh. I had just hanging out with him, I always had to laugh. Even when he was trying to be serious, I had to laugh at anything he said. <laughs> I was like, man, you, you just made my day. <laughs> All right, well, let's raise our glass to Stotsman. Whatever you got, let's raise it. Cheers to yeah, Stotsman. Yeah. May you rest in peace. You God go. bless you. Cheers. He's a good guy. Yep, for sure. Yeah. I, still t I still keep in touch with his mom. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm so That's good, Louie. And we know, we know yeah. where he got his drinking from. From his yeah. mom. <laughs> <laughs> she, could, she could put him away like you wouldn't believe. And shit, he yeah. probably weighed about 130 say, pounds of wit. Man. Yeah, nothing to her. Yeah. There's one yeah. thing I regret from being at the 729. I remember one day we were standing up, putting up antennas up. At, yeah, no. <laughs> putting up antennas up on the top of the hill. And we were up there and we were pounding them in and we were, you know, driving all the, the um, wires in the ground and everything. And Tote, the sweet Tote that he is, God, he's just the kindest human being. He's like, and I was struggling with whatever. He's like, let me help you. And I was like, no, you just want to help me because I'm a girl. I can do Get away from me. And I just freaking opened up my whole feminist world on him and just named him a new asshole over that. <laughs> and I am such not the feminist. Like, legit. I, like, I'm all about, hey, I can do this. But I am not a feminist at all. And um, I feel bad. Like, I still think about that day. And I feel really bad that I chewed Tote's ass out for trying to help me. I oh, where's Ann at? Why, why like, ain't he on here with this? He, I'm not sure. I texted him. He never, I, he never responded. Whatever. But I, I hung out with him like, um, maybe about a year or two ago. He came, He was in whole, on my island for whatever reason, and he's doing good. We had, we hung out. We ate lunch and stuff. I think he's working for the government now. He's, I think he's at Pearl Hickam doing something civilian. I think, yeah. but I'm not sure. But he's doing well. Good. Well, if you see him, tell him I regret that day. He probably doesn't even remember it, but my soul does. And I feel so bad. And I've nah, thought about it. If I run it, I, I'll then. run into him and I'll tell him, Steph said, fuck you. No, just, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you for trying to help her. Yeah. And she still hates your guts like, till you this know, day. You're, you're young and you're dumb. And you think that, you, you know, you think that you whatever. But you just don't know shit when you're 20 years old. And I didn't know shit at 20 years old. I'm 50 and I still don't know shit. I just know that I'm having a cocktail with my boys. <laughs> Uh, I guess we're gonna have to go camping and with uh with yes, Stephanie. Yes, come on, come on! I got my trailer done. Well, it's about three quarters of the way done, but it's so that, Steph, that trailer thing is that something that you you like? You get a trailer, redo them, and then flip them. Or is that something that you like to do? Or so I have three trailers. I have three. Um, this <laughs> oh, for us all, this shit. Buying it for her. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm a part of this women's group. It's called Sisters on the Fly. We have about 16,000. I'm drunk, so I'm slurring my words. Feminazis. Uh, we have 16,000 <laughs> 16, members across the United States. It's the largest women's adventure group um, in the United States. It's women only. We have three roles. No men, Feminazis. no kids. Behind. Yeah. So, it, And some of them, there's about half of us that are complete. Trump Republicans and about the other half are liberal bleeding heart freaks. So I try and stay with the Trump Republicans because as you all well know, that would be me. And um, so um, this weekend is who I'm going, I'm, there's about 12 of us going, but sometimes we have up to like a hundred girls. It just depends on, on how organized it is or, or how not organized it is. Um, but this weekend I'm going with 12 other women and we're going to Lake Jordan for like five days. So that should be fun. They're coming from five different states and we'll just meet in the middle and we'll camp and drink a whole bunch. And how that, like the girls version of the military. It's a good time. <laughs> so Steph, do you currently own all three of those trailers still or do you flip I, them? Yeah, I have a 61 Shasta, I have a 66 Streamline, and then I have a 69 Holiday Rambler. The Holiday Rambler is still gutted. There's nothing inside of it. 
I haven't redone it yet. And I don't know if I'm going to. I may just fucking ditch it. I only paid 900 bucks for it. But I, I don't know. After doing the 66 streamline, I don't know if I have the energy to do the other one. So we'll see. It's sitting in my girlfriend's backyard right now. Cool. They look nice. Oh, yeah, they do. Yes. Good job. Yeah, this one's all. Oh, I want to know, did you ever get some new grapes after you let them other ones fall off the back? I did. They're on my way to me now. So funny story about those grapes. So after that. No, whole the story you watching happened, on Facebook was funny as shit. You're a dick. For sure you're a dick. Okay. So I bought this beautiful old pink stove, and I was so excited about having it, and I was just basking in the glow of its pinkness. And so I did not tie it down properly and the grates slipped off the back and I don't know where they went anyways, in some little town in Pennsylvania. So it's a pretty rare stove and the, finding those grates again is pretty impossible. But of course, knowing me, I, took, I reached out to every Facebook person on the world that I could find and I was on a vintage stove site and some guy in California was like, hey, my parents used to own this store and, and we've got three um, storage bins full of grates. Let me go see if I can find these for you. So he did and he found them and he sandblasted them and reporcelain them and he sent them to me and they're on their way right now. They should be here next week. Cool. But then yes. in, the, in, the, in the meantime, didn't in the meantime, didn't somebody contact you that they found your old ones? Four people called me from that little podunk town in Pennsylvania and said, I think the police department has your grades, but what they were doing is they were reading the police spotter where I called the police station and said, hey, did anybody pick this shit up oh. off the ground? They're old and they were a little confused. They were the sweetest people though. I was so grateful that I actually got to talk to them. God sent them to me because I had really long conversations with them. They were shut-ins and they were so sweet and wonderful. And it was so nice to talk to them. Three women and a guy. Anyways, it was fabulous, and they were lovely, and they were just a little confused, but now they're my friends, and I call them and check on them. <laughs> what, a what about you, Destry? What's going on, Destry? What's oh. going on in Destry land? Well, you know, I live in the nexus. Landia. I live in the nexus of dingbat liberalism. How do you do that? <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh, meditate. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a struggle. It really is. I got to pee. Well, that's good to know. Hey, Destry, what do you do in Portland? Uh, I'm a maintenance supervisor at the city of Portland. Okay. Oh, right on. Right on. Hey, Environmental. Do you remember system. Renee's sister? Do you remember Renee's sister, Destry? That cute little, that cute little girl? Renee? Direct yeah. yeah. Do you remember her sister? She was a really cute one, the one that Tex was always messing with. Dude, I, I, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> no, she's she's up there. She's one of those big time liberals, man. She, she's up she, here now? She walks, around, she walks around with a hat that says, This is what a lesbian looks like. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. There's a, lot, there's a lot of that here. I had to unfriend her. <laughs> <laughs> Destry walks around with the same hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know if it was. <laughs> I don't know if it was Tex that said this one time. I think we're all joking around, and he, I, either him or somebody else hollered out, "I'm a lesbian hidden in a man's body." I think it was Tex that said something like that. Yeah. We're all joking around. Yeah, it might have been Tex. Yeah. yeah, I'm a lesbian hidden in a man's yeah. body. I, that one stuck with me forever. <laughs> Are you still peeing? <laughs> yeah, I'm peeing on my porch. <laughs> Wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> I was just going to say that. I was just That's gonna... rip. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Mer? What's going on in, in, in Merwin's life you here? think that little thing? Not too much. I work too much, I guess. Where you work, Mer? Well, I work for... Uh, a security company. I install safes and uh, stuff like that. Bank equipment. You were working for an ATM company last I heard. Yeah, that was five years ago. And I still do some ATMs, but uh, not like I used to. Uh, I went to a competitor and took a, a managing job there. Oh, so. you're 
Um, and then I work for both of my uh, sons who have businesses. And, uh, okay, okay. What about you, Randy? Excellent. What's going on in Randy land? Beer right now. <laughs> well, beer. <laughs> beer. Yeah, I just He's, got a beer. Beer's in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a wife. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> who, who was that? I'm used to that. That's me. That's oh. Me. oh yeah. Stutzman's last it? request was pour beer on my grave. Yeah. Oh, and we did yeah. and we got in trouble yeah. <laughs> it, it, not surprising yeah they uh, we, he was buried in the military cemetery down there in kansas city yeah right and uh, i'm sure it's not the first beer that was poured on a military grave in the cemetery that's all i'm gonna well, say they told us you will not do that but we did it anyway and we I, said I, watch me <laughs> yeah, that's right i didn't get i didn't get to see it because uh as we're going to Leavenworth to the you know <laughs> cemetery, I re I rear-ended uh, Brad Alvey and Rob Badu. <laughs> they were in a Mustang and I was in the F one fifty. That probably come around, end, Will. Come come around the curve and all I saw was brake lights. <laughs> and I did, man. I nailed him hard. Luckily, nobody got hurt, and we, we could all drive away, but yeah, it, it was a it was a bad but one. That whole that funeral to... procession, we were going 75 and 80 the whole yeah, way. Yeah, <laughs> fine. I was bringing up the tail. And, all, right like, through Kansas yeah. City. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't cool. believe that guy was driving that fast, man. It was out of control. Yeah. The hearse? Yeah. Yeah, he was leading it. He was going 75 and 80. That's wow. like... <laughs> Hey, it's like he's already dead. Slow down. You think we got all day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were yeah. losing people all over. So, yeah. So is is Stutz the only one we lost from the gang so far, or is there any other people that that passed away? It's all that I know of, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Stutz is the only one that I can think of. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Murr, so tell us the story about how you had, to take, he got married. You, had, you had you had to go to court with me. I had to go to court that? with you. Yeah, yeah, you I do. Going to court with me. Yeah, I oh, had to go bail, bail her out. Poor Merwin, I got arrested <laughs> naked. Surprise. What? <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. We all went to the Airmen's Club, fucking hammered, completely drunk. We all come home and we get Eric, somebody. It starts last name starts the P. He was in um, he was an operator. Ah, uh, he don't matter. It, we we <laughs> got him to drive us up to the lake, um, up in the Wasatch Mountains. What the fuck was the name of that lake? Anyways, we were all were like, we're gonna go skinny dipping. Yes, <laughs> everybody was super excited. We're gonna go skinny dipping. Okay, Stephanie's hammered. I've been drinking Singapore slings all night. Me and Jen don't mix well. So we get up there. And Everybody takes their clothes off and they're running out to the lake. I take my clothes off and I'm like, oh God, I'm so drunk. And so I just lay back down in the back of the car. And so I'm naked in the back of the car and I'm just asleep in the back of the car, I'm skinny dipping out in the lake. And the cop comes up. Well, I don't realize it's a cop. I think it's like the, our, my friends that are down there being stupid because who else would it be, you know? And they're shining the flashlight on me. I'm like, fuck off, get the light out of my face. They're like, open the door. I'm like, no, fuck you. I'm sleeping. Go away. Well, it's a cop. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Def, bad move. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Stephanie ended up with a $500 fine. Drunk. Ooh. Like, oh. Merwin had to, go to, had to go to court with me. I wore this white dress with little boys. I looked like I came off Little House on the Prairie, and he still gave me a five hundred dollar fine. That hurt when you only made six hundred dollars a month. <laughs> yeah. well, well, I, had I had to promise. Even surprise me. I had to promise you'd behave. <laughs> you know, a big promise. Forever, I was just, like forever. For, for like that's for, it's forever. They're gonna hold me to it, so 
I hope Shit. you're not Rich, getting was, me in trouble or anything. Rich, I was Murr, just going to say, so fucking Murr had some winners for some subordinates, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Murr, I was going to just say... For life. I'm sorry. <laughs> Murr, I was just going to say, you had some winners for subordinates, huh? Oh, yeah. I tell you, I did. Didn't you have Schwab? I think... Yeah, I had oh, Schwab. Oh, Terry Schwab. Yeah. Oh. How the Schwab fuck is then, that guy? Then, me after, you know, then I was a supervisor after. That guy was nothing but trouble. He was trouble. Terry? Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. Trouble. I don't think Ste- Stephen Rich, were you guys there when Kerry was there? No? I don't think so. I, I remember the name. He, he, remember looked, the just, name. he looked like a like a young Mel Gibson. He was a character. But yeah, he was nothing but trouble. Yeah, we yeah. had to I, I hey Louie, I tried to freaking um message Guido too, but I, he never responded. I haven't been in touch with him. He's my friend on Facebook and stuff. Yeah. Hey, okay. hey, um, Dest- oh, Destry's on the phone. Sorry, are you doing drug deals? He's not talking. <laughs> who was the who was the Hispanic guy that worked in age? Short, little, heavy set guy. I loved him. Um, <laughs> the guy in age, staff sergeant. Was Destry would know, but Destry is ignoring us because he's on the fucking phone. He's talking to his holes right now. Yeah. Don't you guys remember hey. the guy who worked over? Is that Rusty? O. With an O. Uh, Hayes wasn't too heavy. Oh, his he was name, a lighter. His last name started with an O. Oh, man. Destry will know it. You guys don't remember him? Mexican Destry guy? Destry will know. Yes. Yeah. I Start can't remember. Like Orozco. Orozco, Orozco, Orozco I think. Something. Orozco. 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 Yeah. Was it Orozco? Yeah, Orozco. Because yeah. you know, age was age was our our, our stepsister over yeah. there. Yeah, we yeah, were not here, so together. Desha's not here, so we can talk shit. <laughs> Steph, Steph speaking about a five hundred dollar fine. My mom passed away, so I don't. Neither one of my parents are alive anymore. But my mom passed away about a year ago. My brother was going through her shit, and he found my nineteen eighty nine W two while I was stationed at, at Hill. We made $9,345 that year. Yes! Uh, Ooh. Wow. And you were He sent me a text message. Rich. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you were $9,000 You were a year. So how many of you remember Rich Robin's first wedding? Well, we talked about that while you were right, off there. We already oh, went over that. that. You, were back. Back. you were AWOL. Shit. Sitting in I the kept... back for all there. Yeah. yeah. We were all laughing. You and Kim, we yeah, were like was, that ain't gonna last. Rich, very long. I think I was. I think <laughs> I might have been gone it, already, uh, Rich. It lasted seven, seventeen years, I think. Well, wow. that's fair enough. But good, good for you. That was yeah. that's a pretty good run. Did you miss you miss our conversation about her getting me thrown out of base housing? I got sent to the dorms, right? <laughs> oh, you did win. Yeah, that's back when I was stationed at Travis after I was OSI. Yeah. So how'd that happen? What did you do? Uh, I'm not for sure exactly how it happened. I was coming back from uh, from uh, checking on my horse over to stables, and the cops pulled me over and asked me if I was armed. And I'm like, no, I didn't bring my weapon home this weekend. So I, they followed me to the house after they checked, checked on me, and then that's when uh, my commander was there and all that shit. And, and uh, basically I got thrown out of the house. She said she was uh, afraid of me or something. I pulled my credentials out of my back pocket and I hit my commander in the chest with him. I said, fuck OSI. <laughs> well, there's that. Yep, I didn't get fired though. I, I, I survived. I retired in 2008, so it's good. Right on. Woo! I remember when my retirement day came up and I thought, holy shit, that went by quick. I could have retired today. Yep. Mother trucker. Yep, yep, me too. But I blame hey, Bill Cecil because I didn't get to serve my Full term, that motherfucker drove me out of the Air Force. Yeah. Cecil! Cecil! Right? If not, I would have killed him. bounce out of here. Okay. I'm, I'm on call. I got to go take care of some stuff at work, so. Hey, wait. Right. Before you ha- go, Destry, who was, the, who was the Hispanic guy that you worked with that was short, heavy set? His last name started with an O. Was it was a Roscoe. It was a Roscoe. Oh. It was a Roscoe. Okay. Yeah, I slapped him up in Columbia. Yes. <laughs> I was trying to think of who that was. Yeah. All right, Destry. Go take the world. 
Hey, thanks for being on, Destry. Appreciate it, brother. Right Good on, to see Destry. You. Good seeing you, man. Right. Right on. See you, we'll Destry. Again. Right. Okay. Right, on. For sure. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Sure. All right, man. You, Take it easy, brother. And there goes Destry Ogden. Now, Steph, you're in the Alice spot for the Brady Bunch screen. Uh, uh, and, I'm, and now I got, the I got I'm in one the Alice spot. Just, I got a real quick story here that I remember <laughs> also. Is, this is Randy Crone. Oh, oh God, shit. here we go. <laughs> <laughs> remember when we watched Dragnet? I think we watched it all together at your house or something. But anyways, remember those <laughs> – Mister, you got balls big as church bells. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. I think we I think we watched Dragnet or something at, at Crohn's or anyways, we all saw Dragnet. And there's a I remember guy, this day, Gary. I remember the guy goes, <laughs> Mister, you got balls big as church bells. <laughs> well, Monday it's morning, tough. Monday morning, we're we're sitting in the break area and Campbell, Marshall, Campbell Barb passes by. When, with her T-shirt on, you know she didn't. She didn't have her uh, BDU shirt on. Oh God, I know where this is going. <laughs> and she's passing, she's passing by, and there's Randy, Barb. <laughs> you got tits big as church bells. <laughs> no, you I would that? never say anything like that. <laughs> <But she's>, yeah, <laughs> it's Can't a lie. Believe. That tits big as church bells. <laughs> Man, like I was, if, if we said anything like that today, we'd be so oh. fucked. It's not even funny. Oh, my oh. God. It was it was yeah. so great back in the day when you could say offensive no shit filter. and chicks would laugh. I'm yeah, still yeah. that girl. Like, I'm still, yeah. still the girl. If you go, oh, my God, your tits are huge. I'm like, whatever. Oh my, if, <laughs> I worked in the fire department for 12 years. And let me tell you, if anybody got in trouble, if it got to send to HR, it would be me. It would be me. For sure, I out freaking everything, the boys, on a daily basis. They love me. They love me. They knew I would never turn for anything they ever said. Fabulous. Yeah. But girls these days, they don't know how to be a girl's boy. They just don't. I know. They got to like it. It's a shame because it's a shame. It is a shame because seriously, you can get away with some serious shit being a girl's boy. You can. <laughs> So I have a name for you guys, and this is going to bring up a huge <laughs> discussion. Are you ready? Go for it. Mr. O'Brien. Mr. O'Brien, the tech rep. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember him. Yeah. <laughs> kind of older guy. Yeah. Older guy. Obi-Wan. Obi, Obi. Yeah. Mr. Nagahide. Did, did he tap all the young girls? <laughs> yeah. Obi-Wan. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, he did. Speaking of <laughs> speaking, uh, yeah, yeah. speaking of fucking Nagahide, I remember Tex telling him one time, "Hey Obi, um, you better go easy on the jacket or something because the rare species of Nagas are getting extinct or some shit like that." Because <laughs> <laughs> you'd always have that Nagahide jacket, uh -huh. and I think Tex told him, "Hey, yeah. you know Nagas are getting extinct. You better go easy." On this. <laughs> so oh, talk about a pedophile creeper. I didn't know back then. <laughs> I didn't. So, like, I was an innocent person, really, when I joined the military, for the oh, most whatever. part. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let me tell you, Mr. O'Brien, that man was a pedophile. And I was his. <laughs> he was a pedophile. <laughs> he. And I didn't even really, like, I was so dumb back then that I just didn't realize, like, all the shit that he did and said that I probably shouldn't have responded to. Holy shit. Now that I'm an adult and I'm 50, I'm thinking, yeah, if that would have been my daughter, I'd have killed that motherfucker. So he was like, he invited me over to his house, and I was like, okay. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll come. He wanted to take pictures of me. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Yes! Are they floating over the internet? I'll, I'll bring you the pictures. I, so I still have the pictures. I was in a purple shirt and acid wash jeans that were pleated at the front. I remember. And so he like took these pictures of me, and then he was like, take your clothes off. I, I was like, what? <laughs> what? I was like, yeah, no, 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 no. no. I was like, ah, I'm going to Hyundai, and I'm going home. And I, 
then went to TFOC. He, sh he showed up at fucking TFOC, okay? When I was down there doing whatever the fuck we were doing down at TFOC in Arizona, he showed up down there and he was like, I want to take you to dinner. So I'm like, okay, someone's paying for my meal. So I'm happy girl. And he was totally freaking tried to get me in bed, tried to touch me, tried to kiss. He's like 50, I'm 20. I was like, no, 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 Earth, I'm out. This is not happening. I had to call a taxi to take me the fuck out of there. <laughs> Ooh, mercy. Was, was he the old guy that was up on top? He smoked like a chimney. Yep. Yeah, he was the tech rep. He was yeah, the yeah, tech yeah. rep. He's like Affid or something, wasn't he? Affid yes. tech. Yeah. Yep. I have to say, the environment for women back then was probably not optimal. <laughs> No. <laughs> said, I'm a strong enough girl to fucking defend that shit. And so I, I it really would, didn't really make any effect on me, except when I look back on it, I think, holy shit. But no, I was just like, fuck off. But um, yeah, no, there were some really sketchy shit that went on. If you were a girl military back then, I'm not going to lie. And I, girl, you know, they they brushed past me at the coffee station no but there was some serious overt bullshit that went on back then i'm not gonna lie wow. daryl harry <laughs> Jeez, what the, what's his name so like uh well, I was kidding. harry and hey. the two those were the big two that would not fucking leave me alone but I love Daryl Harry, so it was really hard to be like, oh, you're a total dick, because I loved him. I still love him. So it's really hard for me to talk bad about him. But yeah, he was, it was, it was bad. It was bad. I'm not going to lie. But that's okay. I still love him. I don't care how much he hit on me. I still love him. <laughs> now, <laughs> that he's being he's said, the record for the most, most marriages. Daryl, Daryl Carey. I, if I still have dreams about that motherfucker. That's how much he traumatized me. I still to this day have dreams about him. <laughs> Swear to God. Daryl Harry. He was such a dick to me for no reason. Like, he, just because I would not suck his dick. It was horrible. <laughs> it's the truth. You all know that shit. <laughs> yeah. it, wow. It's the truth. That being said, whatever. I survived it and I'm a better person for it. End of story. I'm not yeah. going to claim the victim bullshit on this, but I'm just I'm, saying. I'm just glad you saved that for Ken. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't suck <laughs> dick. I don't ever suck this. I haven't had sex in three years. Three years. Three. Count it. One, two, three. I haven't had sex in three years. Damn, that's a problem. I, need a, I know. I need a boy toy, but that's a whole other story. Anyways. <laughs> we'll take that off. Go be, go be somebody's sugar mama. That's it. Mm, I wish. I wish, but that, that's a whole other story. Whatever. Anyway. Hey, guys, I, I just got a um, request from Mike Christopher. We're about to wrap this thing Yay! up. And he's... Okay, just, hold on. I just, had, uh, I just had breakfast with him uh, last week. Okay, look like Mike is, is going to jump on. Hi, friends. Hey, Mike. How are you? Sorry, I'm not, on yet. not on yet. Not quite on yet. <clears throat> I see your little guy's back. Yeah, him and I had breakfast last Thursday, I think it was. Oh, yeah. Isn't he one of those, yeah, one of those lip cards? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're waiting for him to get on. So. There he is. Oh, no. I see his video. There he is. Mike. There he is. Mike. My air Mike. Oh, oh, somebody who looks worse than us. Yay. Zoom <laughs> party right now. Mike, can you hear us? Hey, I've been drinking margaritas for about three hours now talking to him. Hey, Spot, mute Stephanie's microphone. Okay, hold on one second. Can't even see her and she's dominating it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, Mike, can you hear us? <laughs> Mike's so fiddly. There you go, yeah. You, right? you out there, Mike? He's a, he's a damn technical guy and he can't even get his shit working. <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers Craig Peterson? Ooh. Greg Peterson, Mr. Oh, Cue Ball. Yeah. Mr. Cue Ball, right? Yeah. I go yeah. see him. I go up to Boise and we, we go partying every now and then. Oh, yeah. Every year. Did, did anybody know what ever happened to Rick Horn? Oh. Well, that's a name that I haven't heard. Yeah. Uh, he, 
I used to work with him at Quest, but last time, last time I saw him, uh, he was walking around with his head down because his wife was taking him to the cleaners. Oh yeah, was she uh, a foreigner? Yeah. <laughs> Steph, Steph's trying to talk and Ryan muted her. <laughs> Hold on, Steph. Let me unmute you. <laughs> there you go, hey. Steph. You're on now. Hey, hey Christopher! Hi! Hey! What's going on, Mike? There he is. <laughs> hey, Mike. Right on. Hey. Yeah, I, uh, I was with my grandkids. We were on a bike ride today, and so I get my phone back. It's like, oh, crap, they started early. And so I was like, well, hopefully there's somebody still on it. Now we're still doing it. Even, even after, if I, if I cut it off because we've been going a while, we can still hang and, and talk and stuff, so no problem. Hey, oh, cool, cool. hey, Mike, I sent you a message about your um, college thesis for the, Air Fo the military women. Yeah, yeah, it's not mine. Man. I just forwarded it from a friend of mine. Okay, well, if they just, you know how to get in contact with me if you need it, so. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, I Mike, you. I, I'd... I got to read that one. <laughs> uh, it's not, that guy said it's read, not mine. I, I got to read Stephanie's story. I didn't even complete. Con I told you my story. I've told you all the bad stuff already in this last two hours. Yeah, like, just because of that fucking Mur Murray deserves a medal of honor for being your supervisor. Shit. And dude, I love Murr. Murr, like, Murr is my mentor. I don't talk to her very often, but when I do, I'm just a happy girl. Murr is like, when you think about my life, when I get to heaven, Murr is going to be my spirit guide. Murr is going to be my spirit guide. That's all I'm oh, saying. Boy. I'm just telling you. Murr, Murr, I'm gonna... like, Murr, Murr set the foundation for my life. I love this man. Oh, God. Like, then it went honestly, off the rails real quick. I tell my kids about it. Hey, hey Spot. Like, Best guy ever. Like you need to mute that shit. Yeah, let me. I'm telling you, <laughs> ask Mer. About how long ago did I write you a letter about how much I loved you and how much hey, of the impact? Boy, you uh, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Got her muted. <laughs> you could write you me another. Fuck <laughs> Mer, everybody but Mer can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. He was my man. He was the first guy in my life that fucking stood up for me. That was, it was like, he was the guy, like, non sexual, the guy who actually fucking put it to the pavement and stood up for me and was just an honorable human being in my life who taught me how to be an honorable human being. Mike, and do you see what you walked in into with you? <laughs> Murr, I love you. Thank I will never you. forget you. You were my, you were the guy. I love you to pieces. And the I rest was... of you can fuck off. All of you. The rest of you. All you know, fucking Brady Bunch of you can fuck off. I, I, <laughs> I, I feel the same way about Merwin. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Randy. Thanks, I'm Randy. right there with you. <laughs> I, I think we all do. Absolutely. Look, uh, and that goes for the rest of you guys, too. When Minerva gets to heaven and he, Mer, gets to heaven and he has Mer his life Mer review, and he has to and he has to see the impact that he had on everybody's life, I will uh, yeah. hopefully not be the only person that it was a fabulous impact on. But I am grateful. God sent him to me, and I'm super grateful for him. I love you, Mer. Mer, don't let your head get so big. You'll be all right, buddy. I know it. I know. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, Mer's it's, good. I agree. Okay, we. Mike, what's going on yeah, with you, man? We have, we have a new guest in the room. Move on to somebody Mike. else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mike, what's going on with you, man? So I uh, got titanium implants in my neck, reinforcements, and so I'm doing pretty good now. It's, uh, they took out a disc that was all kind of wonky. And, but, uh, yeah, I was had lunch, breakfast, brunch with uh, Rich. What was that, Thursday last week? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I was out on the bike yesterday. I was out for like all day. We did a 350 mile loop up through the mountains. Wow! Right on, right on. <laughs> so, yeah, so, did you end up, where, Mike? Mike, where are you working at now? Tell everybody where you're working at and uh, where you're living. Where you're at? Uh, I live in uh, on the outskirts of Colorado Springs, and I work at uh, Shriver Air Force Base, supporting the. Uh, 
fourth satellite operations squadron. They would do Milstar and advanced DHF. Wow. Which is uh, a processed satellite, not like what we used to do with our uh, tactical discus stuff. It's it's like taking your cell phone, but on the back of a Humvee and pushing the button on the laptop and it makes things work. All right. Wow. Right on. Anywhere well, in the miss- world, actually, because it's cross-linked. I mean, you don't get yeah, to you- tune up a Kleistron or anything? No, they took away <laughs> oh. all the fun stuff that, you know, you get for, <laughs> for test equipment, you get a, a multimeter and just a piece of junk one at that. Oh, I ain't got no big magnets or anything on them. Yeah. No, it's got a uh, it's got a transceiver with a little TWT in it, and that's about it. But it transmits at uh, the terminal transmits at uh, forty five gigahertz. Mm. Wow! And that's it's really sp- spread spectrum over a two gigahertz bandwidth, mm. change in frequencies yeah. six thousand times per second. Yeah, that's uh, that's changing. Yeah, yeah and we can go sure. up to on the new terminals. We can go up to uh, eight point two megabits. <laughs> point two. Oh yeah. Which you know, kid, oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> Doing a two fifty six, going, hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys are all talking yeah. about this stuff. In the meantime, we'd be like, give me that shovel. I don't want to do with that shit. <laughs> yeah. I'll go pack I a trailer. In the, uh, I don't want to tune this shit up. It, <laughs> and you, don't have to, you don't have to remember where to put the right wave tube, the horizontal or vertical or anything, huh? Right. <laughs> oh, no. Nope. You know, the wave tube is, like, smaller than a little uh, straw that you'd use for, like, stirring your coffee. It's about that size. Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, it's a uh, millimeter size. It's, But I work in the plan shop where we do the uh, long-term planning as far as how to configure the payload, because they change the payload on the satellite about once a year or so. So we do the, or figure out what they need for next year, because as they're uh, bringing the terminals, uh, the old terminals offline and the new terminals online as they're being bought and replaced throughout the services, because the Navy and Army have them as well. They, uh, which, uh, which satellite is that? Mine. Advanced DHF. Okay. And then the old legacy one is Millstar. So oh, yeah. Millstar did a uh, low data rate, which went up to 2,400 baud. You know, the survivable stuff was down at 75 baud. And they still use it. I mean, you have a lot of networks that are still using that every day for survivable stuff. Your submarines doing their stuff uh, while they come up to parachute, uh, parachute, periscope depth. They'll uh, be able to do low speed data, you know, pretty quick. Where it, uh, and because it's such a high frequency, they can you do it on a six inch dish off the top of the periscope, and it doesn't use a whole lot of power, so it's hard to detect and hard to jam and intercept. So it make it's not like they come up and talk like in the World War II days with the uh, submarine come up and transmit at 500 watts, and you can see it halfway around their world and direction find on it pretty quick and easy you know and that was the the downfall of the german submarines was that they uh that they had to surface and when they did they talked on the radio and the the uh seaplanes could find them out pretty quick so what we do with that it keeps it a lot easier for them to be able to get their initial uh essential communications through sure and the other thing is that with the satellites being cross-linked you could have a satellite operation center, con- command center, whatever, for say the submarines at uh, PACAF and Hawaii and talk to a submarine over in uh, the Mediterranean. Or an aircraft talking, you know, takes off out of say, uh, off it and flies over to Europe and has satellite communication the entire time it just drops off this one logs onto that one and then goes through the cross leg back to off it kind of a deal you know so they're uh and, or you could have a broadcast like the navy does where they talk from a command center and the ships around the world will all hear the broadcast message you know with the delay of course but it's still near real time oh right on so did you actually and you don't re- oh sorry go ahead mike Go ahead. Sorry. Oh yeah, I retired in 2005, 
I did uh, 26 years all together. I retired Damn. as a master and uh, then worked to, went to work as a contractor sitting in, at my desk for the first year. And then uh, that contract ended and I went over because I was at Peterson Air Force Base testing satellite systems. And then I went to uh, uh, Shriver to work on the systems we were testing. And But originally I did uh, uh, GPS support there and that was like something totally new. I'd never done it before and did that for two years. And then uh, a couple of the guys that were doing the stuff that I was testing, they left and they needed somebody to backfill. And because I had a badge that could get me into the building, they said, uh, you can get in there So uh, and you have experience. So Monday morning you go work downstairs instead of where you're at right now. And we'll find somebody else to get into where you're at. And, yeah, so, so you're in Colorado. And I've been. Yeah. What's that? You're in Colorado. We, we, where yeah. Rich is at. Yeah. yeah, I'm about a half hour, 45 minutes south of him. Oh, right on, right on. Right on. Well, Steph, Steph jumped off. She said her iPad died. So I don't know. Hopefully she's uh, back. Right. Yeah, you missed Destry. Destry was on for a while earlier, too. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so right on. So I saw, so was that Randy Crone? Yeah, 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 it's Randy. Yeah, man. me. How you doing, Mike? I'm doing good. So, where are you at these days? Uh, I live in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Oh, okay. And then I saw Merwin over there. Yep, I'm here, Mike. So, live out uh, in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, just a little bit north of Randy. Okay, I was thinking you guys weren't too far, and John Groves is out that way too, isn't he? Yeah, he's about uh, two hours north of me, up in Rugby, North Dakota. Uh, Who are you? are back, oh. Steph. Hey! <laughs> my back and drunk. Died. <laughs> back, back and drunk. Hey, you can fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Look, here's the deal. I'm having a few cocktails, maybe more than a few. I have a little extra tequila. Uh, so didn't you have back surgery Hi, recently, you, too? Mom? I'm doing pretty good. How's your wife? She's doing good. She's down in Florida visiting her folks. Oh, she's so lovely. It was so nice to meet her last time I saw you. Oh. Uh, I'm so glad that everything is good with you guys. Oh, yeah. So did you have back surgery, too? I remember you were getting ready to do something. I did. I had back surgery about 18 months ago. How are you doing? Fabulous. Nice. Fabulous. It's hey, looks like a hey, Louis. Louis, looks yeah. like Tex just texted me or whatever. Can somebody shoot him the link and maybe he can jump on? Hey, yeah. fuck Tex. Hey, I don't <laughs> understand why Steph's got to be so nice to Mike and she fucked the rest of us. I don't quite understand all that. Because right? Mike is nice <laughs> and the rest of you, minus Merwin, are assholes. <laughs> it's the so, old yeah, so, show. Jeez, what I do? Literally back I me up. Who's bed did Merwin's Mentor, don't say shit about him because I will hurt you. When we were in Columbia, who's had the kitty cat that came and stayed in our room? Me. Yeah, Me. and whose bed did it pee in? Oh, I don't remember that. I'm old, dude. I can't remember my kids' names. Do you want me to remember that shit? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I remember because I dragged my bed over to your room and said, "You do something with this," and I grabbed one, <laughs> one out of the. Cause you had like a spare room or a spare bed in your room and i grabbed that spare mattress out of there and... that's funny i, I you know i don't <laughs> remember i'm 50. i remember that i'm old and i forget things <laughs> i wish i was 50. <laughs> Woo! Let me okay, tell you, I, just my knees hurt. I just texted text hopefully he'll jump on we'll see because mm -hmm. he Didn't responded have, to my face at one time have some guys got sent home at least one guy he uh he, speaking of a cat peeing on a bed, he actually went to his roommate. He woke up in the middle of the night, went over to his roommate and peed on him in his bed. I think so. Ooh. What? I don't remember who it was. Yeah, he was uh, drunk. He went to his... So there was two guys when I was there, Louie. You were there with me. I want to say Schultz and somebody else that got caught smoking dope. And I swear to God, it was like a movie. We came out. It was raining like usual. 
down where we were at in our compound and they were kneeled down in front of the Jeep fucking with rain pouring down on them and guns pulled on them and they were going to kill them and somebody saved them is all I can remember. Louis, tell the rest of the story. That was uh, oh. Lori Gilbert's husband. What was his name? Emric. Uh, what's his face? Emric. Scott? Emric. Yeah. Yeah, Emric and somebody else. I can't remember the other guy. But Schultz. yeah, that was a that was, that was a nasty situation, man. Dude, that was crazy. I every time I see a movie that has that scene in it, I'm like, I live that shit. It was crazy. <laughs> oh, they were gonna guys, kill those guys. It was and the rain were pouring down. They were they were kneeled down in front of the jeep headlights. It was just insane. Yeah. I, there, there was some other ops guys or something got busted with uh, drugs up on the hill or something, didn't they? And was when everybody him? came back, we had to get piss tested or something. Uh, I don't. I, I think I might have been, but Amber I re- got in major problems. Yeah, like the whole re- squadron had to get, get piss tested one time. So I oh yeah. Have to, I have to tell you guys that my children, Luke and Shelby. Their most favorite thing is to tell the story about how mom got banned from Columbia. <laughs> Cause I told them about the story about, you know, my, my little guy who brought me that shit and then I blah blah. So do you guys know the story about how I get kicked out of Columbia? Uh, uh that was after I left. No, Murr obviously does because he's your favorite. <laughs> he's my fucking favorite. He'll be my favorite till the day I die. So you all come fuck up. He so, probably had to meet you at the plane and take custody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I remember Lori's husband. I remember I, I just the, between us guys here. I didn't care for any of those guys. They're all the pretty boys. I didn't like them at all. And then anyway, but on one deployment, I remember nah. we going, and then I think his brakes locked up, and then he jumped out, and that pussy vomited all over the ground because he was like scared or something because his brakes was locking up, and then he he got out of his truck or whatever, and he puked on the side of the road because you know he was so scared because his Breaks locked up and smoked and what I, I did not like that guy. I'm sorry. I love Laurie and all, but I did not like her husband at all. That's just me. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna tell you the story. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the story how I remember it. Are you ready? Because ready. how I remember it and how the reality is, you know, was probably two different things. So we're getting ready to leave Columbia. We got our shit packed on the flight line, the whole nine yards. Now the whole time I was there. When we went to the pool and everything else, I made good friends with these little kids. One of his names was Ricky, okay? And he was like five years old. He was my buddy. I used to, he was in the pool with me. He taught me Spanish. Castaña, ceja, ojo, nariz, boca, diente dura. I still remember it to this day. There you go. And, <laughs> and I, would, I would teach him English, and it was just fabulous, and things were grand, okay? So we were getting ready to leave, and as you well know, when we were in Colombia, nobody could come with into the barracks area so the day that we were leaving he had colored me a picture and he wanted to bring it to me before i left because he was my buddy and so he came to my my um dorm room and he wanted to give me this picture well the uh colombian police arrested him he's five five a five-year-old child they arrested him and put him in a colombian jail because he crossed the freaking border to come to give me a picture that he colored for me, right? So I'm out on the flight line, we're getting ready to leave, and his mother comes out there on a bicycle, and she was like, oh my God, they arrested my son, he's in the Colombian jail because he came to get a picture of you. Oh my God, help me, help me, help me. So of course me, 20 year old drama girl, I'm freaking out. I'm like, fuck everybody here, you are all piece of shit. You know, I'm screaming, yelling profanities, being obnoxious, whatever. Um, And I'm like, you need to let him out of jail. He's a five-year-old child, blah, 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 whatever. And I'm sure Louis was there. Louis was trying to fucking run interference for me. He's like, shut the fuck up. I probably would not shut the fuck up. I'm sure of it. Um, Anyways, by the time that whole scene ended, um they told me never come back to columbia you suck and uh you are kicked out forever and don't come back in our country so and that confirms <laughs> why Murr deserves the medal of honor for being your supervisor correct. 
But he's a five-year-old kid. If I did not stand up for the rights of a five-year-old child, I could never live with myself. So Murray does not hate me. He understands my morality. I believe that to the end of the earth. So um, anyway, so I tell my kids the story about how I kick, got kicked out of Columbia. Holy <laughs> shit. You think that not every single time their friends are at my house and they're drinking, they tell the story? Every single time. They're like, my mom got kicked out of a country. <laughs> it's like their proudest moment in their whole life that their mother got kicked out of the country <laughs> anyway i just had to tell you that shit anyway next <laughs> you know the mer's proudest one was when we had to go to court for you because you were naked in the back seat i'm just telling you fuck off hey you will not ever fucking diminish my light that i have for mer he's the man i love him he set the foundation for my life and i'm forever grateful the rest of you can fuck off <laughs> so hey everyone um i have to go i got some stuff all right on do, randy it was well, good uh, to see you, randy. Nice brother. you yeah yeah right on man you, randy. Thank, you, thank you for coming and, on randy. Uh, hopefully you do this again soon oh for sure for sure even if it's yeah. not okay re re recorded uh, or whatever but we'll do it for sure we next gotta do time we have a pandemic next time we have a, a a global pandemic we'll call you <laughs> <laughs> great We'll see you, Randy. Uh, the second yeah, wave, we'll right? Good, Randy. <laughs> yeah. Later, Randy. Take a shot. Like take Randy. care of yourselves. Bye, Randy. Bye. Except now I have to figure out how to shut this thing off. <laughs> Randy Crone, everybody. There he goes. There he goes. Right on. He's back. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's back. The other button. Oh, you at least muted yourself. You're getting closer. <laughs> He's he we're all tech guys it. that trying to defend our country. He can't even shut off his, his Zoom. Can't even shut off Zoom. <laughs> uh, uh, how you doing, goes. Louis? What's that? Where's Tex? Where's Tex? I texted I him know. the link. Hopefully he gets on. We'll see. He uh, sucks. Yeah, better I hurry texted up. him too. Was, so what you been up to, good. Louis? I'm still in Utah. Yeah. I've, I've just been, uh, like I was telling them earlier, I broke my left foot in December. Oh, man. And then I broke, and then I, then I broke my right ankle two weeks later. Oh, no. <laughs> I just started walking about a week ago. Holy crap. I had to have surgery on my ankle. Wow. But yeah, I'm just barely starting to walk. But no, other than that, I'm doing great, man. I got a my uh, I got a 22 year old and a 26 year old uh, daughters. Uh huh. And, Tell me about uh, your grandbaby. Tell me about your grandbaby, who a, is your and favorite a three person. Three year old granddaughter, man, that is just the love of oh. my life. Oh, There's very Jack. nice. Yeah, uh, she's a doll. She's a little doll. Unfortunately, uh, she's taking a nap now. Or uh, all right, have her up here. Oh, nice, nice. So wait, let let's let me back up. So Louis is madly in love with his grandchild. I just have to, I talk to Louis all the time. So this child oh, yeah. is the cutest thing you have ever seen in the world, and she loves her grandpa. Loves her yeah. grandpa. I have two granddaughters, so I I have total understanding of where he's coming from. Oh, I have yeah. Three grandsons and two granddaughters. One is going to be two next month and the other will be five in October and yes there. Uh, I unfortunately yeah, have no grandchildren despite my pleas of my children. I don't want my kids to have any kids. What? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no, no, I'm ready to be a grandma like five years ago. Let's Start talk about some Indian them. motorcycles. What? Hey, I got Rich's attention now. Yeah, I was trying to read a uh, a safety incident report I got to respond to here. Oh, yeah. I got two grand granddaughters. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, they're fun. How old? They're Who's fun. your favorite? Uh, he can't What's say who his step? favorite is. He has a favorite. He's It's just the way life is. He's human. You have a favorite grandchild. Tell us who it is. 
correct. Well, um, gee, I guess it. Her name is Veda. <laughs> See, I told you. Yeah. Yeah. Now all the other ones will hate him now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got two. A Veda and a Selvi. They're three and four. Three and five. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is Veda the older one? Yes. The, the first firstborn. One. Yep. The firstborn. It's always the firstborn. Oh yeah. Wait, she's... goes. Okay, so Chris, so Mike. Yeah. Give us your favorite memory of 729th and your worst memory of 729th. I think my favorite one was working midshift with Tex when we were up on uh Bald Another Mountain. Another Tex story. <laughs> and uh him and me got the shot in back to Hill. The Chief <laughs> Slater was like God damn it. I told those motherfuckers we could get this working. Yeah, yeah. Fears on me. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh and Cecil comes walking around the corner is oh, like, he bills Cecil, so here my boots. Cecil! That's Somebody threw my that's, boots that's with triggered. syrup and rocks. <laughs> and it was like Tech starts snickering. He's like I was like, yeah, I was probably him too. <laughs> yep, syrup and rocks. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. In his boot. On the way, on the way out there on that trip, I uh, remember Martha. Martha yep. Clevenger. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. she, she was on my crew, and then it was her first time out in it, and so we're driving this deuce with the uh, 170 on the back, and then dish in the, on the on the truck, and I see this truck hauling ass behind us, and I'm like, man, we're doing 65 going down the road, heading up to Mountain Home. And this guy's just like hauling. And I'll say, I see lights flash and it comes up and he's like pointing over. So I pull over, she runs and comes back and goes, it's on fire. I said, oh, the brakes are a little hot, huh? Is it smoking or is it like flames? It's on fire, there's fire. <laughs> down looking, yeah, there's a little Good old it's like, fire. It's like a bacon burning on the, coming down the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed a little, they gave us those little Haydon extend, extinguishers, and I went, and I had like a 10 second shot, and that was it. <laughs> Put the fire out. <laughs> Meantime, she's trying to get the green leaf open so we could get the big fire extinguisher out of the back of the van. And she was like, I can't get it. I can't get it. And then, yeah, we sat out there for like four hours waiting for VM to bring us some grease to re grease it. And finally, the, uh, the last truck, I think it was. Can't remember who was driving. They're like, "Oh, we're only like ten miles away. Just drive up to Mountain Home, and we'll get it." And so we were like on the second convoy leaving, and the very last truck into the yard. And because as we were coming off the interstate, coming across the bridge, that tire blew out, and so we had to change the tire on the side of the bridge. And yeah, hey know. guys, I'm. Good I'm times. I'm recording the screen. I'm going to stop the recording, but we can still talk. Yeah. So hold on one second. Yeah. Okay, so everybody cool. say, say bye. I'm going to sign up, but we can still talk. So I'm just going to stop the recording. Bye. So my, my, okay. my, my family from the 729, we're still going to talk, but I'm going to stop the video. So, so we can talk shit about more people and it's not going to be recorded. Okay. Signing out. everybody.